the vulture laid on Ekede. You eternal king that unlocks the gate of Ojonko and the spirits of Egerege land. Appear that I may unlock the gate of life, death and destiny. The day has broken and it is a key day. The day of the gods of Egerege land. Don't walk a mong, okay mong, okay mong, okay mong. Oh, look when you oh, don't walk with me. I have come as usual. Take your sacrifice. Oh, John. Everyone is here. Oh, good. It is me as a one. It is me. The lioness of the living and the dead in a Gedege land. It is me. It is me as a one. Who devoured the born and unborn at your service and for your pleasure. It is me as a one. Oh, John, it is me. 
that opened my laps for your crocodiles to satisfy their sexual urge in order to increase your power and influence in Egeregi land. Ojoku, it is me. It is me who cracked open the heads of my nine children seven days after each of them were born and fed you with their brains. It is me as a one. Ojoku. What have I done to deserve this angry rejection of my sacrifice on a sacred day like this? You did not offend me, my most loyal servant. As a one, you did not offend me, but there is a big war coming to our territory. A big war. War? Coming to our territory? Who is not afraid of you? Who dare bring war? It is time to go to war and not for offering sacrifice. The snake that we cut in half and let its angry head escape 32 years ago is coming back to Egedeg, angry and heavily armed with very potent spiritual venom. It is coming to fight us in magnitude that no soul or spirit has ever seen or imagined in a Gedege land. That's them. Different between village and town, you know, bushes around. You see, all right. Uh, hey, driver, driver, please take it easy, all right? Oh. Take it easy, please, please, because you know, the road is unpaved. From what I gathered, I heard that this road is. Ojoku, I do not know them, I've never seen their faces before. That's them. That's OBK, the son of Ajugo and his wife. How can that be possible? You destroyed him with every member of his group 32 years ago, including his wife and four children. The very day they mounted a challenge against us before our people. How can that be? Our mortal enemy managed to save his wife, his only son, Obike and Ebere, his first daughter. Does it mean that the Legion of the Rem has turned against us without telling us? The Masters of the Rain and the entire Legion of the Rain are as ignorant of that information as we are till yesterday when OPK arrived in Nigeria with his Gabonese wife, our mortal enemy blinded all us to that reality. The Supreme Commander of the Legion of the Rain, after analyzing what happened 32 years ago, reported to the Grand Master that Ajugo's wife OBK and Ebere, his sister, were snatched up when the thunder that killed Ajugo and the rest of his crew hit the place. They were gathered that day and took them to the safety using a chariot of fire. The grandmasters, and I saw the chariot roaring away, but thought it was part of the fire from the dissolving thunder blast. For that, none of us ever bothered about investigating it any further till OBK's image flashed on the mirror of the Seven Seas yesterday. It is no time to talk and ask questions. It is a wine. It is time for action. 
Obike and his wife must never step foot on Egedege soil. They must not, for the baby in his wife's womb is bad news to you and I. She is our nemesis. So release the staff of mid heaven for an assignment. Release it now. Stop! Eh? Yeah, stop, 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 Jenna, stop! Driver, stop, 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 where a monster tear your stomach open and devouring the baby alive? Yes! You, you... I know what you told me, but I'm still afraid, OBK. Oh. Listen, the truth is that I may not know my village people very well. You see my tribe, I know them very, very well, darling. I do not know neither your village people nor your tribe people. I am not from this part. How can I have such a terrible nightmare the day I arrived in your country with your OBK? On the eve, you have to take me to your village. Why would you dismiss my concern about the implication of such a dream the way you did last night and this morning as well? You yeah, even insist you will proceed to your village. Oh, yes, we have to proceed as planned, darling, because you know why? We are children of God. We are children of Most High your God. We are children of light. Are not. You said so yourself. Christian or not Christian? What you told me that happened to your family 32 years ago scares me to my bone marrows. And I can't pretend to be okay anymore because I'm not. God will protect us. God will see us through in this journey. Really? Yes. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead, darling. Where are your family? There you go again. Where are your three sisters? Was God asleep when they were roasted alive by that evil thunder that was invoked by an evil princess in your village 32 years ago? Mitchell. Mitchell. God does not sleep nor slumber. Mysteriously, God pulled my mother and I over. And he took us back to Abba, where she handed me over to his brother before her death. No one in Nigeria knows you and your mother survived that attack because she warned him not to say a thing to anyone. This is the first time you're returning back to your country since then. The very first time you're heading to your father's village where it all happened. Just a few hours to get there again. Your pregnant wife had such a terrible nightmare and you see it as nothing serious. Can't you think of it again? Even if you can't see the dream, can't you see it for what it is? A signal from those who killed your father and your mother. God will definitely be going to protect us in this journey. He's going to see us through, darling. Oh, yes. Really? Oh, yes. Your father, your mother, your sisters also served that same God, but they were consumed by that evil power 32 years ago. Michelle, Michelle, I am not my parents or siblings. I am a pastor, an anointed one at that. The reason God preserved and protected my life for 32 good years is about to manifest right before our own very eyes, darling. The only thing I see manifesting here is you walking blindly to your death. Oh, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And who shall I be afraid of? The God of Isaac, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego has commanded that I should take you to my own native land. You remember that the prophecy that was given to you in Libraville by Prophet Francio two weeks ago that the baby in your womb is a child of grace. And is a vehicle that will carry the divine embodiment of deliverance in the land of Egedege. 
darling, God has already said his word. He's a child of grace and the Holy Spirit has affirmed it that this child has to be given birth in the land of my own birth. And I ask you a question, darling. Whose report will you believe? Is it the report of the Holy Spirit or the report of the bad dream he had last night? Where is your faith as a child of God? Where is your faith? Where is your hope? Oh, be careful. The Holy Scriptures that money that we carefully examine every spirit that manifests. Let's be led astray unto perdition. Did you do some scriptural recommended due diligence or the prophecy of Prophet Fasio before embarking on this journey? I say it's no, my husband. So why is it so hard for you to see that this dream you dismiss as nothing serious can be a warning from the Holy Spirit, telling us of what awaits us and our born baby in your village, Obike? Mature dead that put their trust in the Lord. They are like man Zion. They shall never be taken away. Better by them forevermore. Psalm 1 to 1, verse 1. And in Psalm 91 said that he that dwelleth in the secret place of most high God shall abide under the shadow of Almighty God. Darling, listen and listen very good. Holy Spirit has said this and he has said it to the hearing of everybody that you have to put this child in bed in my own home. Eke -teke. That's only when this child destiny, the anointing that packages this child destiny, shall get directly manifest. <laughs> Listen, we have to leave now. We have to go back. We still have movements. We still have journey to take. Listen, we have not gotten to our destination. Oh, Bika, you can't force me. Hey. You can't force me. The air shall die. It's the same God. The same God that forced Jonah in Nineveh. It's the same God that had an encounter with, with Saul in the, in the road of Damascus. Father, you never change. You are still the same. You have to prove to me and my wife that you are the God who packages this journey. You have to prove to us. You have to show us a sign, Daddy. You have to show us a sign because I can't carry this body alone. Lord Jesus, because I put my trust in you, Lord. I know and I believe that you can never forsake us. Hey! What is going on, driver? Driver, who is driving your car now? Oh, God. No! 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 Adolfo! They are coming to get the land. I repeat, it's time for war, not time for questions. Go with the staff of Middle Heaven now. Go and stop them. Dead or alive, they must not set foot on Egedege soil. That child must never be born in Egedege. Go! 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 Ojonku, the great Ojonku, I am back. I am back with Obike and his wife. Here they are before you. You failed in your mission. How, Ojonku? I turned them into calabash. This is the person you turned into calabash. <laughs> Our mortal enemy is at it again. This is history repeating itself. Michelle, Obike's wife, is already inside Egedege as we speak. Is a wine. 
you failed to stop her. And your failure has massively escalated the situation. She is about to go into labor. She must not deliver that baby on Egedege soil. She must die before that baby makes it into the world. Both of them must die. Yes, Ojongo. What of Obike? I will use him as a sacrificial lamb to appease the entire legion of the rain. Go! 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 No problem now. Nah. Mama, very, 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 very. That's a woman's voice. It's clearly a woman's voice. And then she's, her voice sounds as if she's in a distress. In distress? Yes. Do you mean she can be in, uh, under attack by an, a white animal or something? No, 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 not, not, not. She's not been attacked. But I think, with my experience, I think she's. I am taking otherwise to them. What be care you? Help! Help! <laughs> Oh, 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 my baby, my baby. strong force throwing me down i felt it too i don't know down. i don't know what it is i felt it too hey mama whatever that force is has killed this woman no no no, no. no. she's still alive she can't die let me check her pulse wait hey she has a baby oh she has a child oh. let's go mama, no no let's no, go. no let me help her I was attacked by... I saw what happened. Our mortal enemy is protecting them. We have lost the first phase of the war. The baby has been born on Egedege soil. Yes. I succeeded in killing the mother. I made the baby blind. But when I tried to take the midwife and her son off as well, our mortal enemy defended them. The midwife is Ebere, Obike's biological sister, the one that was saved alongside him and their mother 32 years ago. Are you saying that the baby is in the custody of her own aunt? That looks arranged, Ojongo. Our mortal enemy arranged all of it from day one and again the rain is just getting to know today. 
What is going on, Ojonko? Eh? Our mortal enemy took 32 years to prepare for the war he brought against us today. Everything you saw and heard about Obike and Ebere were no coincidences. They were all spiritually arranged for a purpose. That purpose will manifest fully if that baby survives and reaches the age of 15. Then she will attain a level of spirituality that will make her our nemesis. We can only spiritually manipulate them to abandon the baby voluntarily for it to be possible. That is the second phase of the battle and you must proceed now to prosecute before it is too late. Stretch forth your staff of middle heaven and receive the extra spiritual fortification you need to prevail. Are you out of your mind? in trouble now, Mama. How can you ask me to return the baby? You, you, you just picked there. I, I, I don't know, know the mother is dead. Mama, eh? the baby put us in trouble. Let's return this baby. Have to put you in trouble. How? Were you not the one that was telling me that we should take the baby home and take care of her? Mama, Why are you now changing change my mind? I have changed my mind. Mama, we have to return this baby. Mama, see, if you don't return that baby, eh, I'll report you to the police. What? Return that baby, Mama. See, I'm going. Return the baby. Return the baby. I've told you. Return the baby. You call the police on me? Do them. Fellow. A messenger from our mortal enemy. An angel? Her guardian angel, Ebere and her son, will keep her no matter what we do now. What if we manipulate the police and turn their people against them? We will still fail in the end. Her guardian angel will go to any length to ensure our utter failure. 
we have failed again in another phase of the battle. So, instead of wasting our time any further, it is time for us to plan and prepare for the war our mortal enemy has formally declared against us with her birth, or at least survive it if and when it starts. At least survive it if and when it starts? With all the powers we possessed? Yes, by indirectly attacking her and whatever that will make life worth living for her with the sole aim of frustrating her into taking her own life before she attains the age of 15. But that is the only way we can stop her full spiritual power and destiny from manifesting and being unleashed against us by our mortal enemies. I am developing a plan already. Go home. I will inform you once I have concluded the plan. Go and despair not, for all hope is not completely lost yet. Go, loyal servant of the rain. Go! Go! Sarachi. Mama. Hey, Nemo. Hogini, where are you coming from? Eh? Hey. Nemo. Oh. Hey, come, come, let me help you. The Queen Nanya Bukun. Eh? Where are you coming from? I went to Mazenes Palm Plantation mm. to get palm materials for boom making. I'm sorry I kept you late mm -hmm. It's okay, you don't need to apologize. I'm just coming in now. Oh, okay. Do you have to stretch yourself because of this broom? Eh? Did I tell you that the broom will stretch my paws? I have money, we'll buy broom. You don't need to go all through this. The place is very far. What if you had fallen and hit your foot on the stone and get yourself injured? What would I have done? Eh? I know. Bikonu. God ordered my footsteps safely back home. See, Mama, I told you not to worry. The blind has a God who sees for them and lead them faithfully in a world that is perpetually dark for them. Uh, hmm? Mama, you memorized another of my lines of faith. See, that's why I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Adamo. I love you so much. <laughs> come, come and sit down. Oh, sit, sit. Let me lead you. Climb up. Sit, sit. Easy. Oh, sit here. Mm. Hmm. <gasps> it's okay. Well, how was work? Fine. How are you? I'm very fine. Please don't leave home again, oh, Biko. No problem. Hmm? Hmm? Please, next time, don't go and stress yourself over things like this, Biko. Okay. Oh? Okay, I've heard. Um, Mama, please let's go inside before the smell of more in your handbag bursts my throat. Hey, Kosarachi, you are this moi moi when you are for. Hey, Mama, she makes the best moi moi. Okay, then how did you know I, I bought your mama today? The aroma is unmistakable, Mama. Hey, you are such a special child. Thank you, Mama. You are my delightful angel. Aww. I love you so much. Onem. Now let's go inside so we can have your mama. Oh, okay. Okay. Leave the bag, let me carry don't it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, I'll carry the bag. <laughs> because of moi moi. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Hey, don't worry, I will take care of it. Huh? Yeah. You see, that's hmm? why if that you brought your money and I just wasted money in buying. See, we're almost done. We're almost, we're doing it. But I told you not to worry about next time. <coughs> don't go see, and stress yourself about this now. thing. Oh? Okay, no problem. Bye bye. Yes. Uh, brother Nana. Um, How are you, Nana? 
Um, I brought back the hunting rifle I borrowed from Dubem. My own heart issue last week. Has your own been fixed? Uh, yes. I brought it back with uh, this bullet. Uh, bullet? Bullet squad. Hey. I don't understand. Nana, what is going on? Mama Dubem, you paid me to hunt in Chi for Dubem to take back to the city. Whenever he comes back that he wants to spend the weekend with you people. Yes. I bought already bought the bullet. So I have changed my mind. Why? What are you talking about? What happened? I, I need to pay for my children's school fees. Very important. School fees? But Dubem has been the one paying for your children's school fees. Dubem paying for my children's school fees shouldn't be a priority even. Charity begins at home. He needs the naked truth from me and you. What naked truth are you talking about, Nana? Here you go again. Acting as if everything is okay. Mama Dubem, let me ask you. Dubem has been married for good seven years. Nothing to talk about. Not even a miscarriage. It's only a witch that can condone all this. Dubem, shut up, I'm talking. Mama Dubem, are you a witch? Brother Nana, please stop. Your words are hurting. Shut up! Let her prove to me that she's innocent by calling Dubem and his wife to order. Listen, let me tell you something. <sighs> Our people are already talking. And they are pointing accusing fingers at you. You better do something as a mother. Brother Nana, your words are like daggers. What to someone's back? <sighs> Who set you up for this? Shut up! How dare you accuse me of doing someone's bidding? Eh? Immoral boy. <sighs> Listen, I've said my own. You better do something. <sighs> Baby witch. I don't to deserve this harsh voice from Nana. Mama, why is he talking to me like this? Baba, it's okay. Nana! Nana! How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Nana, how dare you? How dare you go to my compound yesterday? For me to order you vomited to my mother and consulted yesterday. How dare you? Huh? Nana, after everything I did for you, after all our years of friendship, you chose to rub my face on my face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seriously, I can't explain what came over me. I'm sorry. Look, that thing that came over you should get ready. Should get ready to go with you to police cell and suffer I, for two weeks. I, I, because I, as I live I, here, I am going to pay the police to arrest you. I, I will pay the police to torture you and starve you for two weeks. I, oh, you think you can carelessly talk to my mother like that? Open your lousy mouth to talk anything and get away with it. You will not. You are not going to get away with it. I am going to deal with you. I will treat you like an enemy. We are not lying. My uh, husband does not know what came over him yesterday. Uh, he has been crying since yesterday. Please forgive us. Uh, 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 I came on that day. I was on my way to the, uh, to Isabel Forest uh, to hunt. I mean, seriously, I didn't know what happened to me. I saw myself going to your house to vomit all the things I said to Kosarati and your mom. If you people are not cooking up, what you are telling me? No. no. Why haven't you, you in particular, hey. gone to my compound to apologize to my mother and Kosarati? Hey. Why haven't you? We were about going. Uh. We because of the fear of what your mother will yes. do to him. That is why we have not gone. Yes, sir. Please, Biko. Please. Biko, Biko. Please. Biko, Biko. 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 calm down, Biko. I'm sorry. Biko. You are my childhood Biko. friend. Biko. That my family is eating today is because of hey. you. Biko. 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 Biko.
<laughs> and when he opened, I said, I'm not dead, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, it's okay. It's okay. Please. <laughs> I said, it's okay. Stand up. It's okay. Have you, have you what must it be you? Huh? Why would you allow yourself to be used? I'm sorry. Makachi, it will happen? not happen again. Hey. Hey. hey, we are sorry. Mama, I am sorry. I am sorry for all the names you've called. All the calls you rained on me. I accept it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you want to beat me, go ahead and beat me. Whatever you want to do to me, go ahead, please. But I must say I'm sorry. I'm sorry, please. I didn't know what came over me. It wasn't intentional, please. I'm sorry, Mama. <laughs> I lost my mother when I was 13 years old. And since then, you've been my mother. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Even if you cannot forgive me, please. Forgive me for the sake of my wife and my children. <laughs> uh, Nana. Mama? I never cursed you. I did not insult you in any way. Rather, you were the one bringing insults on me. But the one that pained me most was when you insulted Kosarachi with her present condition. That one is beyond outrageous to me. Pray she forgives you. If she forgives you, then I've forgiven you too. Uh, please, where's Kosarachi, please? I need to see him. Don't worry, let me go and... She's not in the house. Uh, where, where, where did she go? She went out uh, immediately you drove out. I don't know where she went. Okay. Nana, whatever apology you have to tender would have to wait until you get to meet with her. But you have to pray, oh. Pray that she forgives you. Because she's the one you hurt the most. You stabbed her in her heart. Just pray she forgives you. That's all I have to say. Uh, Mama, let me go and look for her. Uh, please, I'm coming with you. Bless you, Mama. God will bless you for me. God, it's nothing. God will bless you for me, Mama. I don't need to thank me too much. This thing is just more than that. <laughs> Mama, I'm so happy to hear from you again. Even before you knew the outcome of my husband's encounter with Kasarachi. <laughs> Kasarachi has always been a good girl, a wonderful girl at that. She has forgiven him already from her heart. She has forgiven him. You know she took after you. She emulated you, Mama. If he's virtue, you are gold itself. 
There's nobody in this village that doesn't admire and love you and Sarachi. Thank you. And to my children, she's like an elder sister to them. And the best for that matter. Oh my god. She's my husband's voice. Kosarachi! Eh? Hey! Hey! Timo! I swear I What did you say happened? I, 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 I was tender. I, I just, I, I told someone's present. I, I went to check. I just found him. You found him? But I didn't do anything. I didn't explain it. I just snatched in your hand. I don't know. 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 I am here for you. What will happen? What will happen? You didn't do anything. I believe you. Oh, I believe you. We rescued her from the hands of angry youths. They wanted to kill her. Is that true? Yes! She killed Edu Nana son! I swear I didn't do anything! Shut up! What you have found in the bush with the dead body and the knife in your hand? I said, still deny it. You mean she killed Nana son? Yes! She killed Nana son! You did! Hey, 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 and remand her in custody. Okay, nice. Let me go oh, and get the other. Alice, 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 is there something for me to eat? I'm hungry. Alice, are you not the one I'm asking? Nana, so you are still looking for food? Nana, let me ask you, where is my son Nedu? Where is our son Nedu? Where is he? The people that killed our son are out there. And you are still asking for food, Nana. Nana, you better go out and avenge our son. Go and avenge the death of my son, Nana. By, by who is here? Nana. Ah, uh, no. You're welcome. Yeah. How uh, are you? This one, you're you in my house. I hope all is well. How can all be well when you petitioned the elders? I'm here on behalf of the elders. Uh -huh. um, no. Uh, have a seat, eh? <coughs> okay. Sit down. Right. <sighs> so, what is the problem? No, you're born now. No, I'm not just happy. That girl killed my son. 
She stabbed my son with a knife that has been confirmed to be the kitchen knife. Dube man now I caught her doing that. Now, that girl is a murderer and she must be killed. Let me ask you, where is the corpse of your son? Like I told you, Dubem left with the cops. As you know who of this community, my duty is to enforce the process of the custom and tradition that is prescribed in this situation. And our custom demand that if you kill anybody, once you kill somebody in this village, you must be banished or killed at the same time. Oh no, I don't understand what is happening. I don't know if my own is different. Well, that can only be possible if the corpse of the victim is found. Until the corpse is satisfied death, we cannot do anything. Are you serious? Yes, that is the custom and tradition of the community. Is that how you want to put it? No, is that how you want to put it? That is the custom. Is that how you want to put it? No, no problem. No, no problem, no problem. I've heard you, no problem.
You'll never leave me. You said you would not forsake me. Oh, I get not to go. You know, Marco, what am I going to do? Hell. It's okay. It's okay. You're back home now. Oh. You're back home. You're back home. Hey. Hmm. No. No. It's okay, old Nem. It's okay. You're back home now and you are safe. You know? Mama, it's not okay. It's not okay. Hey. The elders ordered I leave a chap of community within seven days and stay banished for the rest of my life. What? <laughs> Do them tell me it's not true? Tell me she's lying! Eh? Mama, she's not lying, it's true. Hey! Hey, whoa! F1 no more! Do them why? You came to the hospital with two elders this morning. They said they saw Nedu alive and they joined Ming handing him over to his parents. And you cleared all his hospital bits. They were there. It, it, it all happened before them. Eh? They said when they, they go back to the, to, to, to the elders in council that they will release this girl for me. What are they now saying? What has she done? What has she done to Bebu? What has she done to deserve the banishment? What has she done, done to me, to Bebu? Mama, they said that, that, that I committed an abomination by conspiring with you to take food. Water and new clothes to Kosarachi last night. Banished. And the punishment to this is that you and I will be banished from Majapa community for seven years, seven forfeiting years. all our properties, including this compound to the Hey, how can you Ha! Alu emelu mo! Kosarachi! Kosarachi, mamu! They cannot banish you from this community, Mbadu. Eh? Let them take everything. Let them take every let them take the land, the house, everywhere. Our farm, everything we have. Let them take it in this community. You baby, you are rich. You have money to replace all these things. Did you not tell her that to the baby? Mama. Hey! I have told her all that and even more. But she stuck to her gun. You stuck to your gun. Back again, eh? Mama, I didn't despair you and brother to them safe relation. Mba no eh? Mama, you and brother to them have done so much in my life since I was born. Brother to them's inheritance is not something to be tampered with, Mama. Uh, you've not done anything in them. You're, you're innocent. You're just innocent in them. You've not done anything. Hey! I'm Hey! Mama, it's okay. Hey! Eh? I don't know, Mama. The baby are looking at me. What are we going to do? Mama, it is so much for her to survive. No, no, this girl cannot survive. No. Hey, what? Mama, 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 no, I can't let you go. You can't go away from me. You didn't do anything. You are innocent. You are innocent. She cannot go. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh. Baby. Hi, honey. <laughs> Mm. I missed you. And I was so scared for you, for Mama and Kosarachi. I know, and that was the reason I kept everything that happened away from you. I don't get it. You mean there are more stuff that happened than all the scary stuff you already told me? That's my love, don't worry. I'll, I'll feed you inside. Um, Jane! Ah! <laughs> What's that? Uh, Allah, the sleeping does lie. Are you stupid? Did you, do you know who he is? I'm, I'm sorry, ma. Then answer him this minute. Sir, the problem is, I don't know what is uh, going on under my, my main auditorium. I don't know what, what I've eaten, sir. It's like he's scratching me. Shut like, up! Uh, Shut up! Compound fool! He told you to let the sleeping dog lie. And you insisted. Now it has woken up. No, Why are you complaining? This guy is just stupid. He's very annoying. It's okay. Get my bag. Okay. No, no, no. I'll get it myself. Okay? I don't want this fool doing anything. Okay, ma. If I hear one word, I'm sorry, ma. Idiot. James! Ma? Get the bags. Sir, ma, I thought you said you were getting the bags. Get the bags! I, I, I'm sorry, ma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. Good God, how could the elders contemplate on such punishment for you and Mama? Oh, as shocked as you are. Shocked only though. Because we absolutely do not have a reason to regret whatever we did. I mean, if I didn't do what I did last night, Kosorachi would have lost her life to pneumonia before daybreak. Nana and his wife would have wasted her with their wickedness. The poor girl would have just died of great cold. And I'm sure that was their plan. Um. But babe, in as much as I support what you and Mama did, I'm also putting myself in Nana and his wife's shoes. And I keep asking myself in my mind, what could I have done in such circumstance? What are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? Nothing should justify them for going to that wicked extent without caring where their son was or what had really become of him. Come on, that should be the most important thing to every parent out there. Saving their dying son's life or revenge of that extreme nature. Well, to that extent though, they really went too far. And Kosarachi's decision was a very difficult one. I admire the poor girl's um, guts to take such decision despite her disability. Family is everything. You gave me family and I gave up my comfort zone for you. That's no big deal to me. Those were her exact words to Mama and I while we were worrying off our heads for her earlier today. She said that. Thank God she has another home away from our village with familiar people who will make the change of environment more easier for her. You are not referring to this house and us, are you? <laughs> Come on, honey. We are family. Myself, Mama, and you are the only family Kosaraji have caught. You and Mama, no one else. What do you mean? Um, let me get you lunch.
That's what I'm not calling me at this time of the night. Hello, Mama? Yes, I got home safely. I called you as soon as I arrived. Why are you calling me to ask me the same question over again? She's fine. What my wife said concerning um, Kosoraj joining us. Um, well, I, I have not really had time to discuss it with her, but I think I will. Don't bother yourself. Kosarachi have um, seven days left with you. Uh, just enjoy the rest of the days with her while I tidy up things over here. Yes, she's fine and sleeping. She will hear. Best of the night to you. I must send her regards to you. You lied to her. Your silence ever since I told you that Kosarachi will be joining us here left me with no other choice. That girl is blind. Can't you see? And she'll obviously come with peculiar challenges I'm not used to. You and I know that I'll be the only one to bear the consequences that comes with Kosarachi coming to this house and no one else. Did you put all this into consideration when you were making plans in the beginning without involving me? Well, I'm sorry. Isn't it obvious that she has no other place to go apart from here? There are facilities run by the government agencies and NGOs that can cater for her needs. Well, um, you are beginning to take whatever it is that you're saying further than I can allow you. So, so, in essence, you want me to shut up? It means you should start thinking like family. I mean, your sister joined us immediately when we got married. Have I ever complained? My biological sister. And she is not blind. How dare you? How dare you! <laughs> Do you want to wake up the devil in me? Jesus, shut up. Shut up! Now go back to sleep. And don't you ever bring up this ever again! Honey? Honey? You're here. Didn't I tell you when we woke up that I'll be leaving for the hospital earlier than usual I know because... what you said. Okay, so why is the dining empty? Where's my breakfast? Uh, there is none. I'm not in the mood. Are you sure you're ready for what you're starting? Dubin, please, I am not in for your threats and your screams this morning, okay? I am not in. I mean, it's early. Ah, please, I'll be in the room. Did you just come in, Dubin? This is how Tonya wants to pay me back for all the love and care I've shown her. This is how you want me feel like a fool for seeing and treating your own family members as mine all along. The love and acceptance my mother and Kusarachi extended to you since they met you. This is how you want to pay them back. Okay, there 
it's no problem. Hello, Tonya. I want you to leave whatever you're doing on campus. Get to the house, pack whatever personal belongings you have there, and leave today. I am not the one asking you out of the house. Your sister is. So keep whatever question you have for her when you get to the house. Hey, hey, who is that? James! Hey, I said it. All this are not this. All this are not this. What the fuck? All this. James! Hey, hey, who is that? Tanya! Oh! Sorry! Uh. Open this gate! Sorry, sorry. Are sorry. you mad? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Are, are you silly? Why are you wasting time to, to open the gate for me? Why are you wasting time? This is my fault. I was inside my bathroom. I was bathing. I didn't hear, because you know this time around, my robbers are very, very serious. So when they are knocking your gate, you have to, you know, watch who is coming before. That's why I, I was trying You're to... You're very, very stupid. Huh? Why are you boiling this afternoon? What is it, eh? What happened? You happened! Idiot. Why has, has Mike Tyson beaten you up again? Eh? Sorry? I said, has Mike Tyson beaten you up again? What did you just say? I said, has Mike Tyson... How dare you insult me? Are you repeating it? Are you stupid? How dare you insult me? You, 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 you moron. You, 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 you spam, you spam of a mistake. Oh. Idiot. We be warning you. We be warning you. Give it up. Tonya, stop it. Since he just insulted me. He, 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 he insulted Tonya. me. Don't you think you're busy hunting for rats when your house is on fire? Yes, this is just insulting. Just let him be. Come inside. Tonya, can you please leave the fool? I I'll deal with you. Let I him be. I'll deal with you. Nonsense. Let him be. See, he just, he, he just insulted Please go me. inside the house. One you, I, 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 this boy will be beating. This boy will beat you. He will beat you. He will still follow this guy. He will beat you. He will still follow. Now you are. I want you. I, I want you. Come and beat me. Leave this boy. This, leave this boy. You don't want to leave this boy. I, I want you. I want you. Come and beat me now. Sis, what, 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 what is going on? Eh? What is going on? James has never boldly insulted me the way he did out there. And your husband asked me to move out of his house and also order James to insult me, right? Tonya, don't be silly. Dubim did not tell James to do anything. How did you know? How did you know that? Because according to you, he has not picked your call nor replied your messages ever since I told you what he said to me. Or did he tell you it was a mistake? Did he say I can stay? Sis, talk to me. You he has see... not taken my calls too. I even went to the hospital to see him, but he refused to let me in. What? 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 What manner of quarry did you people have that? Tonya, <laughs> please, we don't have time for too much talk now, please. So, I, I should just go in and start packing my things? Is that it? Tonya. All I need you to do now is to call Dubim with your phone and see if it peaks. Okay? Okay. Put it on speaker. It's ringing. Have you done as I said, Tonya? Dubim, how could you be so silly? How dare you treat my sister like a piece of shit? Are you trying to get back at me? Showing you that the games of love, hate, tolerance, Rejection and selfishness are games anyone can play. Yes, they are all two can play games. And here we go. Dubim, you are so... I've decided to take Kosarachi elsewhere as she wanted. Send your sister away as I wanted to. From now on, this marriage is strictly between me and you. And any day I meet anyone from your side, including your friends in my house, consider our marriage over. And that starts when I return from work today. Are you threatening me with a divorce? Really? No, I'm threatening the stranger you became to me when you refused to see my sister as part of us. Dubim, Dubim, listen. 
Listen, you know I do not have any work. There's no way I can get money to train Tonya. You know this. Right question to the wrong person, my dear. Your family's business is no longer Dubem's business. And please, I am busy. No, this cannot be happening. God, 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 this is not happening. This sis. is not happening to me. This is not happening. Sis. Yes. What exactly did you do to his sister that turned your sweet, loving husband to the stranger I just listened to? I, I don't want to drop out of school. I don't. Please calm down. You, you are not going to drop out of school. But he just said that. I... Calm down. Calm down. Wait. Sit down. Sit down. There is something I need to tell you. Please just sit. Okay, um, Tonya, um, you know, um, before I got married to Dubin seven years ago, we had already broken up six months earlier. In fact, he was already engaged to a lady that was two months pregnant for him. So... How did you now end up with him as his wife? How? Um, um, the, um, as a wife, priestess of Ojunku in our village, Mama took me to her to help manipulate the beam to chase the other lady out and get married to me. Can you and Mama go to that extent of being evil? Oh, Tonya, please just stop. Don't judge us now. How can you say that? Didn't you see everything that was happening at the time? Papa was dead. Mama had no job. My, my, my banking job that I was doing at the time was not even helping. I had to cater for you. I had to cater for the entire family. And cater for myself as well. What did you expect? The guy I was dating at the time was was just lovable. Of course, I loved him so much, but he was not good at anything financially. Dubaim, on the other hand, I didn't love him that much, but he had all the money I needed. So I had to use my both hands to, to, to grab the opportunity. So, in, in other words, whatever you and Mama must have done has expired, right? I don't think that is the case. Um, Mama told me two years before she died that there's an agreement she had with Ezawai that involves you and I. Me? God forbid! Did, did you say me? Yes! How? Yes! What is wrong with you? Eh? Do you want to leave this house? Do you want to be a school dropout? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Then you just have to calm down. M Mama told me that um, seven years into my marriage, I would get to know about this agreement. And this is the seventh year I am Dubim's wife. So, so, what are you trying to say? We have to proceed to the village. I am the force that took him to the forest. I am the hand that stabbed Nedu. Nanaso. What? So, Kosaraki was not telling lies when she said she wasn't the one who stabbed that boy? Everything that happened in the village in the past few days happened for one purpose. And that purpose is to bring Kosarachi to your house and leave her at our mercy. Our Ojoku had a binding agreement with your late mother seven years ago. And that agreement made you, your sister and I, a team, bound in spirit and body in the service of the realm. Me? You are the one chosen by the masters of the realm as my successor. I reject it. 
The only way the masters of the realm will leave you and choose another is when this task is successfully carried out. Frustrate Kosarachi into taking her own life. Or alternatively, make her lose her virginity. Both must happen within six months. It's in wine, but it's... Oh, Jonko! He's in possession of your womb. According to the agreement we had with your late mother. And the only way to return your womb is when this task is successfully carried out. Failure to do so will result into full-blown madness for the rest of your life. But it's a wine. With all the power you and Ojon could possess or, or, or control, why don't you just kill Kosarachi or manipulate some criminals into kidnapping and raping her? If you wanted either of that to happen to her so desperately, don't, can't you just do it? Any attempt to take her life will backfire on those behind it. Like I said before, you have six months to carry out this assignment. Nothing more. Nothing less. Calm down. Let's get to the car. Pause now. Let's get to the car. No, I can't do it. I cannot do it, sis. I cannot become a local priestess to some damn. Pull ghost. yourself together, Tonya, please. We are close to Egedege village, and someone from our village might even hear us. Eh? I don't care. Do I look like I care? I don't care. Let them hear us. Since you and Mama did not put my feelings and future into considerations till you had to deal with the devil on my behalf, I don't care! Tony, I told you. I told you that I only got to know about this deal from Mama two years ago. I'm just like you. I'm getting to know the details from S and Y today. And you think this silly explanation takes away the responsibility of this wickedness to me away from you? It doesn't! It doesn't! I don't need your apology. I don't need your apology, so keep it. The only thing I want to hear from you is a way out of this mess you and Mama created for me. Tonya, you heard the as one bad day. I don't she... care. Whatever she said is not my business, it's hers. So please do not remind me before I set us ablaze here. Did you see any factory or workshop in that coven? Did you? Tonya, Let stop. me remind you in case you have forgotten. I am studying engineering. I am studying you to practice it so I can become useful to myself and to humanity and not to end up like some local priestess to some Tonya, damn god. There is a way out. It's the only way out is for us to become human devils to that innocent blind girl. The only thought of it makes me cringe in disgust. Are you okay with that? Are you? The alternative is you ending up as something you are so scared of becoming. And then me, as a raving mad woman. Now tell me, Tonya, if you refuse to become the priestess of Ojunku, you will end up as a raving mad engineer naked around the streets. Which option do you choose? Tell me, which is better? Do you have a plan? Do you? I, I don't have any plan now. But, I don't know, I have no choice. I have to go and get Kosarachi to come to our house. Yes, everything that's on my mind now is just to go to Dubeng's village and bring her back. I cannot go to the city without Kosarachi. Are you coming with me or not? Do I have a choice? Let's go to the car, please. That way, that. James? Huh? I can't see my wife's car in this compound. Where did she say she was going to? Mm. 
What a bombshell. Hmm. Sir, as I'm talking to you, your wife is on her way to a campus. She's going to beat Mike Tyson. I don't understand. What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> Sir, Tonya's boyfriend in campus has beaten Tonya. And I'm telling you, if you see the way... Like, hey, 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 stop hey. it. I'm telling you, sir. That guy is very, very picky. He has damaged Tonya. So they are on their way. They are going to beat him. Are you done? <sighs> Thank you for that. I'm not done, sir. I'm not done. Sir, I'm not a small boy. Sir, if you look at me from top to toe, I'm not a small boy. I'm a 70 years old man. I'm not a small boy. Tonya came here. Tonya is talking to me anyhow. Sir, Tonya doesn't pay me. You pay me. So Tonya doesn't, can, cannot come here or come and stretch her hand on me like that. It's very, very disrespectful. I don't, I don't like that. Tonya will be talking to me like, hey, 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 will be threatening me. Okay. Eh? James. Sir? Come closer. Come here. Sir, I'm closer. More closer. I'm closer, sir. Do you know what shut up means? Do you know what shut up means? Sir, so come again. I said, do you know what shut up means? Oh, okay. oh sir, sir. yes, sir. I know, sir. Then shut up permanently. Get out of my sight. Oh. Get out! Yes, sir. Where are you? I'm in the village. Not mine, yours. I actually just drove down with Tonya into your compound. Yes. I had a long thought and about everything and I realized how silly I was for opposing your decision for Kosarachi coming to our house. I'm, I'm, I was really wrong. I shouldn't have said all those things I said last night and even this morning. Kosaraji is our family, no matter how anyone wants to see it. And you, you've been really a great person to me, to my family, to everyone. You've really showed us great love and care. And I truly love your family a lot. Including Kosaraji. Yes, so... I had to drive to the village to bring her back. And I promise you, I promise you that I'm going to show Kosarachi all the love and care she deserves. Even with her predicaments, I am ready to show her every love she deserves. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoever said that women are the weaker vessels made a huge mistake. Because when it comes to family politics, they are not just stronger than men. They are more strategic and they are great masters of the act of soft power. Thank God for letting wisdom prevail on my wife's side. Thank you for saving my marriage. Father Lord, I am so, I am so, so, so grateful. Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we thank God, sir. It's like the way you are smiling. <laughs> Madam Antonia has won the fight. <laughs> oh, we thank you, Lord. <laughs> James. Sir? Listen, if you produce one more word from your mouth again, you will zip this gate. Did you hear me? Yes, yeah, sir. Now turn around and go. Yeah, well, I said turn around! Yes, sir. You going? I'm going, sir. You going? How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Hey, 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 mm -mm -mm. Oh, my wife. Mama, it's you. Mama is okay. Please come. Let's hey, hey, Mama. Hey. Hey. Mama, welcome. Hey, my in law. Hey. Ever smiling in law. 
Ah, hey, you people are here. My beautiful <laughs> girl, Sarachi. <laughs> how, how are you? How are you? Oh, my how baby. Look at the way you are shining. Yeah? So good. This one you're wearing. You're looking so beautiful. Thank you. I'm sure you're looking beautiful too. Exercising and sweating. Ma? What is it? Ma, you're welcome. Ma, I'm trying to get fit. Yeah, I'm trying to get fit. I'm exercising. I remember my days in the barracks. I'm in training, sir. Ma. I'm in training. I'm getting my Davido bags back. Oh, yeah. Okay, what exactly are you talking about? Oh, yeah. See, the last time, the last time they came here to threaten me, to point finger at me. Never. Anybody who will come this get to chat to me, I will hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the person go here. Yeah. <laughs> My baby, it is worth laughing at. <laughs> so, James, Ma? you're training because of my sister here. <laughs> what a bomb, sir. Yes. Thank God that they are standing here. They can see my Davido packs. They are chatting now. When they were threatening me yesterday, they thought I was a small boy. I will show them any, any burst down. I will show them. Yeah. <sighs> Keep your garden. <laughs> yes. Who is he? My darling, he is our new gate man. Did you say gate man? Oh, they clown that man's the gate for his salary and he retains everyone for free. You, I will deal with you, yeah. idiot. Look at him. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't... This was a nice one. He's not this, this idiot. This clown! He, he, he accused me of, of driving the last gate man away with my bites. How can he say such, such lies to my face? This, this stupid, stupid idiot! I don't blame you. Why are you giving her eye? Stop staring at me! Stop staring at me! So, James, did you say that? Sir, the thing is, it's a lie. I didn't say that. But I assumed that all this embalming, bullying, and all this talking, talking, and threatening hands, threatening people. I'm sure that the last Getman who was here, she did that to the Getman. That's why the Getman went. Did you, did you hear that? I'm protecting myself. So you're getting serious with me? I don't know. Look at the person you're calling. Honey, please come. Welcome. Tony, leave this clown. You should know that he's a clown. Me and you in this house. Me and you in this house. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Kosara, my baby. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> don't worry. We're in the living room already. Okay. All right, have your seat here. Yeah. <clears throat> Aha. So, Kosara, you are welcome to our home, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, brother. <sighs> the same pleasant, lovely, and positive energy 
I feel anytime I'm around you. Oh, thank you so much. And remember, you are now a full member of this family. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay? <laughs> God bless your stay. Thank you so much, Auntie Cheesy, for accepting me wholeheartedly. Thank you, Auntie Tonya, for accompanying Auntie Cheesy to the village to bring me. Mm -hmm. It means so much to me. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. And the gate man, he's such a funny man, filled with good, full spirit. I believe I'm going to have so much moments of laughter while missing Mama badly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't mind James, he's such a silly Auntie, seems like you take him too serious. Thank you so much for that observation. Thank you, and please, louder, <laughs> increase the volume. We'll see. Uh, there is nothing to add, um, Tonya. Uh, you seem to be taking James too seriously. Look, if you stop, you will laugh more, okay? Yes. <laughs> see, sometimes he pisses your sister and I off, and, um, but it's nothing to be compared to the moment he gives us laughter exactly. with his yes. characters. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so, um, having said that, I want you all to follow me to the mm -hmm. um, second Visitor's room. I have something to show you. Uh, something to show us? What is that? Honey, I said something to show you, not something to tell you. So come. Okay. okay. Come, come, come. <laughs> come on, I'm ready. Right by your side. Sure. Excuse us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm here. Okay. There's a door. Yes. <clears throat> Here we are. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's right, Chief. This is going to be your room from today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seeing it in the eyes of Auntie Cheesy and Auntie Tonya, I really feel like an angel. Oh, yes. You have always been the angel of the house. We love you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes, it's you. Mm. Oh, Actually, three. <laughs> <laughs> Carry them. <laughs> wow. Thank you so this much. is nice. Yes, it is nice. Uh, especially made for Kosanichi. <laughs> I bought you a new bed. Oh, this for me? Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, brother. Yes. Can I please speak with Mama on your phone to tell her about all this? Oh, yes. Um, honey, yeah, you guys can go ahead and freshen up. Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> okay. Come, come. <laughs> Sit. Uh, don't worry, you're going to enjoy your stay, okay? Thank you. Sis, did you see that? <sighs> My dear, I did not expect less. I mean, he has been fond of her, they grew up together, they do everything together, so <laughs> he does the extraordinary for her. That's not my drive. My drive is, how do we successfully do what he asked us to do? When your husband literally worships her, how? Sis, that is not a problem. My maths teacher used to tell me then that every problem has a solution. All we need is critical thinking, and planning. And remember, we have only six months to execute this plan. Hmm. I don't want to end up as a priestess. I don't want to run mad though. It, it will not fit me. Look at me. That is not happening. You are not going to be Ujunku's next priestess, okay? Calm down and trust me. I promise you with everything in me. That room is fine. It's finer than my own room. It's finer. Are you now talking about the room? Really? Tonya! So you're going to clean everywhere, sparkling clean. Okay? You clean the chairs, the figurines, um, the TV, my frames, everywhere. I want them to be dazzling clean. Alright? Okay, so this is the dry napkin. You use it and clean some of the places. And please, this wet one, this semi-wet one, do not use it to clean my TV and glasses. Okay? Mm -hmm. I want everywhere so clean and please be careful. I do not want you to break anything. Alright? Good. No problem. I won't break anything. 
I used to help my mom with all the chores in the village. But although it took me years to master everywhere in the house. Auntie, please, allow me to master my way around the house so that I... I, 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 I calm down. When I woke you up in the morning, I told you that I'm following my husband's instruction. I told you he asked me to tell you to do these chores because he considers idling about a taboo in this house. I told you this. And this will continue every day as early as 6 a.m. every morning. Do I make myself clear? Mm. Remember, do not break anything. And if there's anything you need to master, you can do it while you're cleaning up. All right? Okay. Good. And see, did I upset you? You, you sound annoyed. I sound annoyed. Are you okay? Please, I need to prepare my husband's breakfast, all right? Remember, do not break anything. They cost a lot. If you break anything, Kosarachi, I'm not in for arguments, okay? Don't worry, I won't break anything. The God of the blind is the God that sees for the blind. Um, don't worry. Whatever. Kosarachi, what are you doing? Oh, stand up. Thank you, brother. Um. I fell an object down while I was trying to master my way around the room when performing the chores. Performing chores? Who sent you? Ah! Babe! What happened? I heard you calling Kosarachi's name. Are you okay? Kosarachi, are you okay? What happened? Uh, it's nothing. I just tripped while I was trying to perform the chores. Oh my god! I'm so sorry! Did you hurt yourself? Huh? Did you hurt yourself? No. Ah, thank God. I'm sorry. What's actually what is the problem? I told you that you should relax and master every way. For at least three months, but you would not agree. Babe, I told her. I told her to not do all these things. She said no, that she's feeling bored, that she wants to do it, that she just let her, okay, she kept on whining. That she just please let her to do her room and the living room. What did you expect me to do after she's part of this family? I had to. Now look at. Um, but that would be... Is that Auntie Chase's voice or another person's voice that sounds like her? It's her. Why do you ask? Um, oh, babe, don't say a word. Answer me. It's okay. Let me just perform the remaining No, 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 no. It's no chores for you. In fact, there is no chores for you in this house. Yes. But brother... There is no point to argue about this, Kosaraji. Aside your condition, you are not here to do any chores for me. Yes. Do you hear me? Now, honey, I'm saying this to you. You are the one that told me that you do not need uh, uh, help. Yeah, I do not. That you can handle the house yourself. Yes. And you have been doing that perfectly well ever since Tonya got admission to the university, right? Mm hmm So, Tonya is around. Why is she not the one doing the chores like I met Kosarachi doing? Um, huh? Um, babe, I'm, I'm so sorry. It's just that Tonya left early. She has 8 a.m. quiz to write, so I, I had to let her. Huh? Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I want her. But I promise you that this will never repeat itself. I'm so sorry, babe. You don't have to do this. You don't. Okay? All right, I'll take you to your room now, okay? And then when I'm done taking you there, I'll prepare your brother's breakfast. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hmm? Are you okay? Yes, I'm She's fine. fine. She's fine. All right, I'm sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's fine, darling. I'm so sorry. You're still living here. And you're a baby. You don't need to do chores like this. Come here. Come, come here. Stupid girl. Are you mad? Hey? Auntie Cheesy, you lied to your husband and you. You shut up your mouth. So I pluck out your tongue. Now sit down here, and if I hear you utter one word, I'll kill you. Do not leave this room. Stop it. God, this is not the anti cheesy I used to know.
I am in your presence, so bless me now. I am in your presence, so bless me now. I am in your presence, so bless me now. I am in your presence. Hey. Whoa, James. <laughs> Sir? My car is looking very neat. Thank you. <laughs> How are you? Sir? <laughs> the Lord I serve did not allow the devil to succeed. I'm telling you. What a bombshell. <laughs> uh, God did not allow the devil to succeed. What happened? Hmm. Sir, I had a bad dream. Today, they can't buy a dream I had. Really? I'm telling you. It was so bad that even if you put inside market, it will not sell. Was it that bad? I'm telling you, it was that bad, sir. It was that bad. So in my dream, guess what? I was cooking. <laughs> I was cooking orphan salad and apple. <laughs> <laughs> my love. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, are you ready for James coming crown this morning? You see, sometimes I, I just can't ignore him. He's very funny. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> James. Sir. Listen, just post this story, okay? No, no. When I come back. Sir, I, I can't post it all. <laughs> Why? I can't post it because the remote control that I will use to post <laughs> is sports. So I was thinking if you get me some small <laughs> coins for the boys. <laughs> okay, now you finally landed at your point, right? <laughs> Madam will give to you, baby, come. Madam will give to me? Yeah. <laughs> Open the gate. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. Oh, wow. You too. Bye. Bye. Ah, <laughs> sir. Uh, you can come back. <laughs> oh, wow. Good day. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. <laughs> Good day. Bye bye, sir. Puss, what did you say? I'm sorry, ma'am. Ma, please, uh, Oga was saying that you give me some coins, coins for the boys. What? Oga was saying you, you will be giving me some coins to buy the remote. Okay, take it from Tony. S sorry, ma. Who, who? I can see that you're sick in the head. <laughs> you are the reason why I am singing Jehovah. You are the most I got. You are the reason why I am. Auntie Cheesy. Is that you? And who's the second person with you? Because I know it's not brother to be. Come on, will you shut up? I'm not ready for your verbal for me this time, okay? One word and I'll strangle you. Auntie Cheesy, if the person speaking with your voice is really you, please, I beg of you, if there's anything that I've said or done, Auntie, please forgive me. I'm truly sorry. Please forgive me. Sis, we have more important things to do here than listen to this blind baby witch. Let's do it and get out of here. Auntie huh? Tonia, I'm blind, yes, mm -hmm. but I'm not a witch. Osi? Auntie Cheesy, I thought you told Brother Dubemi that Auntie Tonia went to campus very early this morning. She did not go anywhere. She is here with us, idiots. Now listen to me. This, you can perceive it. This is Cameroon Pepe. <laughs> this one is cement. Touch it, they are all in plates. This is insecticide. And this one is rat poison. So now, if you fail to do as we demand of you, and then if you go as far as telling anyone whatever we do to you in this house, I will force this Cameroon Pepe inside this your blind eyes 
and half of it inside your womanhood. Do I make myself clear? Eh? Yes, ma'am. Fool. And after that, if you try to mess up again, you will have no choice than to choose from either of these to kill you. Ah. Sis, are we going with them? Let's show us more. Don't worry, she has said us. Okay. You think we are joking, yeah? Welcome. You think we are joking? Idiots. James! James! Ma! Open the gates. Oh. Um, um, ma. Yeah? Okay, ma, ma, please excuse me. I want. Um, Tonya. <laughs> oh, beautiful angel. <laughs> I never gonna say goodbye. I never gonna say What good is it? Ma. ma. I, I'm trying to tell uh, Tonya that, uh, Tonya, I, I'm sorry, okay? Hmm. I'm very, very sorry, you know? Whatever I did, I was wrong. I, I, <laughs> please, for, forgive me. You know you're a beautiful girl, eh? <laughs> you're my wife, Matilda. You know, I, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. James, this is a very matured act you just displayed. Um, Tonya, my dear sister, you've heard him, okay? Can you please forgive him? Get up! I forgive you. You, you forgive me? <laughs> what, what, what a mom said? Present! 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 I'm at your <laughs> Okay, so Ma, you, you guys are going. Yes, um, um, one more thing, James. Ma? I am leaving now, and I do not want you to allow that girl inside there to come out. No problem. I don't even want her out of the door. Talk more of out of this compound. No Do I make myself clear? C clear, ma. Good. I understand. Hey, hey, Tonya, 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 you know, I, Tonya, calm down. I know I've been begging you for that money now, eh? I hope now you're forgiving me. I'd rather use that money to cure you. Money. wrong with you eh this guy i called is the best person for this plan it's not the guy i'm nervous about it's the entire plan that's only a plan b and for crying out loud our lives our future our sanity everything is at stake so please them the the, the conscience talk please yeah. yes Hi. 
The envelope contains the picture of his mother and him. I will send you half of your one million naira when I get the details. Sure, you will get it. And the other stuff? Hey, a gun? What do you need a gun for? For any eventuality that might occur and Terry would not be able to handle it or might come rather too late. I don't like leaving my flanks open. The Amazon spirit still lives in you. Something woke it up where I laid it to sleep 11 years ago after campus. Um, no, you have to be very careful because the world has changed a lot in the last 11 years. <laughs> sure I will. You can call me up if you need further clarification. Sure. Just stop all these questions. Let me take you to school. And then I will go back and meet Kostarachi and feed her with the bread of sorrow that I baked properly for her and is ready for her consumption. Mm. I just don't know what people want in this world. Wicked people all over. Wicked people all over. Baby, I'm a long living thing. See, 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 see. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fine girl. You go follow man. Fine girl. You follow man now. See, they don't kill you. Mm. Problems with you. You are growing up. You're a nice girl. You are growing up. I don't want to have any problems with you. Do you understand? So please, just let's go back inside. Huh? Please, please, please put this stuff, please. See, because Rachi, Madame said I shouldn't allow you go out. Let's go inside. Oh, this girl. Oh, oh, okay, you, you want to go and see your boyfriend, Abby? You want to go and see your boyfriend? You want to scrape some gardens and burn some bush? See, see, I don't want to, any, I don't want to have any problem with you. Let's go. Uh, Uncle James, please, I'm begging you, please. Please, eh? please. Eh? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I know it's easy. Calm down, calm down. I know you are hungry. Eh? There's more uh, buying all those uh, food. I'll cook some for you. Eh? No one please. is at home today. I will entertain you. Eh? Please, I'm begging you, please. Uncle James, please now. See, don't, don't, don't. I don't like that. Too. I don't, I don't, I don't want to stop on guests. Too. They said I shouldn't let you go out. Let's go. You, you don't worry. I'll cook. Please, please. Huh? Please, I'm begging you, please. Oh, what, 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 what a bombshell. Please, don't worry, eh? You can't go out. Madam said I shouldn't let you go out. Hmm? So let's go inside. Eh? I'll play you Black Sheriff the second sermon. Hmm? Don't worry, eh? Just leave. Oh, stop. stop. I don't like that. Oh.
is the gate open? James! Why is this? James! 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 James. Get up! Ma? Why is this gate open? Oh, it's, it's open. It's, uh, and why are you lying down here? What's happening? Why did you leave the gate open? Uh, Ma, it's, uh, it's got Kosrachi. Kosrachi, uh, I, 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 I was here. I was here. Kosrachi uh, was coming. Kosrachi uh -huh. uh -huh. was coming and I was there, Ma. I was there. So as I, I, I blocked her. I blocked her, Ma. And I was telling her that you, you said I shouldn't let her go yes. out. Uh -huh. So, so as she, she was going, she was assisting to go out. I said, no, you can't go out. My dad said I shouldn't let you go out. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So what happened? What happened? What happened? Uh -huh. So and and and, and I, I still Why was. Why is this place open? Uh -huh. Why is the door open? That's what I was saying. Is that she, she wanted to go out? And then I, what happened? Where is she? Ma, I didn't say anything again. I didn't say anything again. I don't understand. Why is the gate open and where is Kosarachi? Ma, I, as I was saying. Because Ati was coming and I said she can't go out. Oh. Before I know, I didn't see anything. James, did she go out? Did she go anywhere? She wanted to go out. Oh my God, you're a big fool. Did she go anywhere? Ma, I didn't see anything again. Jesus Christ, James, I told you not to let that idiot go out. And you let her. How could you? Ma? How could you? Now open this gate. Ma. It is best. I told you that you can't go out. You can't go out. Now see how I've come. Oh! <laughs> down. Down! Get down. Get down! Fool! Now move. Move! Stupid girl, you want to run away, right? You think you're smarter than I am? Come! Come in. Take my bag and take your bag. I don't want to see you out again. Do you hear me? Take my bag! James! Ma? Come here. Come here. Hey! Hey! Shh. Hey! Hey! Shut up! Mm. Shut up! Mom, up! Listen to me. This gun is not for you. But if I hear a word hey. about what just happened to my husband, mm. I will not hesitate to blow your head out! Do I make myself care? Yes, and listen to me, James. Start from your legs, hey. to your hands, to your stomach, everywhere, before I blow out your head. Do I make myself clear? Yeah. Good. James. Ma. One word. Not a word. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. towards my life. I want my last words alive to be that of divine blessings upon them. For their love them. So much suffering and dying for them and because of them. It's a privilege and honor. So I will do whatever it is you want me to do with this with a smiling face. So, what if I tell you that they are both dead? Then, then I 
will do everything possible to join them. Suicide? If, if that's the only option, then yes. Why, if I may ask? Because you'd be the only family member I had left. And after what you've done to me today alone, I see no life, no present, no future without them. Death is a far better option than life with you. Sorry if you see that as an insult. No, 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 my darling. I am not angry at all. In fact, I am rather happy because this is exactly what I've been expecting to hear. <laughs> For your information, this gun, this gun is not for you. It is for Mama and Dubin. I've actually waved off every option that has to do with the acid, the raw cement, the rat poison, the dry pepper, all those things are all waved off. And if you ever disobey me, or go as far as doing what you did today, or even try to tell Mama, or Dubim, or anyone outside this house what I've done to you, or what I am yet to do to you. <laughs> I will kill Mama and Dubim. Auntie Jizzy, please. Please don't kill them for me. Their lives in your hands, Osarachi. Do as I said, and they leave. Up! Get up! Why are you doing this? Why are you covering your mouth? Sir, I'm covering my mouth to save my life and my next generation. What a bomb, sir. You're covering your mouth to save your life and your next generation. Yes, what sir. happened? Uh, please, sir. I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want to talk. Because before you know, Taliban's go enter Kapoor now. Please, I don't want any trouble, sir. The annoying thing sometimes is that you don't know when to crack all these jokes. Talibans in my house in Nigeria. What happened, my friend? Speak up. Sir, I, I beg you. If you love me, please, sir, don't put my mouth into temptation. Because before you know, I will just die. Before you know, I will, they will just buy obituary. Gone too soon. Gone down by unknown gun gunmen. Unknown, no. I don't want to die. Mm. I'm just saving my life. I don't want to talk. Before you go, no, I will talk. They will just. <laughs> oh. This is my laptop bag. Oh, it's in the living room. I could get it for you. Okay. Oh, the song. What a song. <laughs> yes, you know our Kosarachi has an angelic voice. <laughs> yes, she does, but there is a stinge of pain in her voice. Well, babe, what do you expect? For an adolescent who passed through what she experienced a few days ago? <laughs> it's expected, babe. But it's fine, she'll come around. I need to speak with her. No, 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 babe, you don't have to. At this point, she needs to heal and she needs to do this in her own privacy. No. You need to shower and take your supper, okay? Listen, darling, she should be healing in my house and in our company. So I need to talk to her. 
No, at this moment. Uh, um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, Brother Bim. Yes. I thought it was Auntie Cheesy. <coughs> what happened? Uh, she, she said that she was... I, I, I was going to tell her that, um, I mean, I'll let her know when, when supper is ready. Uh, yes. She said she was going to let me know when supper is ready here. Is that so? Um, brother? How are you? Um, you said that you heard me singing. Yes, um, and you are still going to explain that to me because uh, it doesn't sit well with me. Oh, um, I'm, I'm hungry. Really? Okay, okay. come, come. Honey, come. take her. Yes, right? yes, yes. Thank you. Come, 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 okay? Make sure you eat well. Um, I will join you both when I'm... Uh, All right, honey. Later. Watch your step, watch your step. Watch your step, okay? Why you were nervous? Are you mad? Are you stupid? Don't you know that the man is a medical doctor? And he hears and perceives as well. Fool! Please, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to tell him. I'll be more careful with my words next yes, time. This time, you are using to apologize to me, to pray to God that the curiosity you must have aroused does not linger from what I saw in the room. If not, if not! <laughs> Unless you don't love the man, the baby. Idiot. Fool! So you can freeze to death. Mm -mm. Hey? Mm -mm. Now eat your food. Well, I, I, I said, fuck. I met our everly lively, talkative kid man covering his mouth today when I came back. <laughs> James is ever lively and talkative as you rightly put it. And a born clown as well. Oh yes, he's a clown. But even clowns have their moments of sobriety. <laughs> and nothing puts them in that mood than fear fear of their life. Honey, are you really trying to take James serious now? <laughs> no, I'm not. But he was talking about um, him. Did he want to die? He, he, don't, he doesn't want some non government to gun him down. And um, Taliban's um, entering Kabul. <laughs> then, moments later when I entered Kosorachi's room, what she said and did seemed to me that that wasn't just the words of a clown. <sighs> but she told you that there's nothing to do with it. And even after that, before bedtime, she was her same lively self. 
doesn't that have to tell you that you're just worrying over nothing? Am I? Yes. Look at me. Don't you trust me again? Don't you believe um, I have the capacity to tell you whatever that happens while you're away? It's okay. Let's go to bed. Make love to me. And if you do not do it, I'm not giving any of you food. No breakfast. Ma, no breakfast. Ma, I'll show you around. Let me show you around. Let me show you around because... Let me show you around. Don't cry. Don't cry again. You see, if I don't show you around, no breakfast. No. So I hope you saw the who. You know, uh, the mosquito, where the mosquito, you know, where they lay their eggs. <laughs> so all the cockroaches too. Mm. I was showing you. Those are the place they also sleep. Mm? Okay. Uh -huh. I am going to see my pastor. So when my husband comes back and asks after me, tell him so. All right? Your, your pastor? Yes. Okay. Uh, sorry. I remember what I told you. Okay. Please. Do not do otherwise. I know why I'm begging you. Okay, ma. You know me. Ma, ma, sorry. Uh, did you say your pastor? Okay, never mind. But Emma, uh, I've, I've, I've been doing, you know, busy, you know, what you told me that I should show her around. So I was uh, showing her around, you know, where the cockroaches are, are where they are who and where, you know, they are food. They are food. And Come and open the gates. Thank you for your compliment, ma. During our conversation last night, I realized that he's beginning to suspect that something is wrong in the house. And not only that something is wrong in the house, that I am behind whatever it is. And Dubim, I said, why? Dubim is not the type of man that allows his curiosity to linger. He must find out whatever that is going wrong. In this case, 
The sex I introduced to distract him in the situation only bought me a few time. And it's this time I'm exploiting right now. Please help me, Ezenwai. I beg you, please. You already have the help that you seek. I... I don't get it. You are afraid that the presence of Dubem and his mother might become an obstacle to you, Antonia, mm. in carrying out the task yes. assigned to you by Ojonko and the masters of the realm. Mm. Well, Ojonko and the masters of the realm, they are already aware of it, even before you start thinking about it. Hi. And it's been taken care of. Um, you mean that Mama and Dubim are dead already? Ojonku and the masters of the realm do not scratch a parcel that will eventually be opened. Go home, Chizi. You've done well so far. Go home and concentrate. Thank you. Thank you, Ezra. Not really, but uh, you know that soon I will be promoted, yes. <laughs> but do you still remember the um, scholarship I applied for last year? Um, the one that has to do with advanced um, study in surgery in Australia. Exactly. But I thought you said you did not make it to the final selection. Oh yes, uh, but um, they wrote me again today that um, they reversed themselves. And then um, someone just pulled out at the 11th hour. So <laughs> I've been at the top of the reverse list and to replace him immediately. Oh, this is good news. Yes, it is. It is. But there is a downside to it. Um, what do you mean? We'll be leaving three days from now, but I have not even started your visa. Oh, really? Babe, I can't possibly go with you. Because, you know, Kosarachi is with us and you don't have predicament. There's no one I can leave the house with to stay with her. Oh, come on, baby. We talked about this before I applied for the scheme. Uh, we all agreed that Mama will resign her job as midwife and come over to the city. So Mama Antonia can handle things. Okay? Uh, babe, there's no how we can inconvenience Mama Antonia. You know, it uh, is... Oh, baby. No, uh, it's fine. I will stay. I'll take care of um, Kosarachi. Okay? And you're just going for one year. If we miss ourselves too much, don't worry. You can apply my visa and I'll come and visit. <laughs> okay? I'll do anything to sacrifice for you and Kosarachi. For better, for worse. Thank you, baby. Come, <laughs> come here, baby. Come here. Thank you for your understanding. I love, love you. I love you. <laughs> Is my food ready? Yeah. I want to show something. Okay, just fresh it up. Okay. What's this? Hey, this one. Oh, that's my mom. Ah, hey. Mama. Hey. Ah, ah. hey. Easy, baby, mama. Mama, welcome. Mom. Hey, hey. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> you didn't tell anybody that you'll be coming. Because I don't want to stress you, eh? You know, whenever I tell you that I'm coming ahead mm. of time, you'll be running up and down to get what Mama will eat. So I don't <laughs> want to bother you about that. <laughs> you know, Mama. Is that your voice I'm hearing? Yes, oh, my voice. Yeah. Hello. Yo. Kasara. Mama. 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 Hey, my baby. My How are you? Much. I'm very fine. I missed you too. Eh? You know it's not been easy for 
for me uh, since you left. I can't cope. I missed you. Yeah. That was why I came. Nem, hmm? how are you? I'm very eh? fine. You're fine? Yes. Are you sure? You're fine? <laughs> yes, I'm very fine. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I missed her. <laughs> I know, right? Um, Mama, you didn't tell anyone that you were coming. I didn't tell anybody that I'm coming. Eh? Last time I told the Dubai man that I will be coming. They said there won't be need for that, that I shouldn't come. But I said no. I have to come and see you because I've missed you. I missed you, <laughs> miss you so much. Mama. Eh? Hi. You're such a lovely mother. And you always get me jealous for not having you as a mother. Instead, you had Kosarachi and Dubim. Eh, eh, don't say like that. I love, I love you too. You are my <laughs> daughter too. Eh? You see? Since the time uh, Dubem introduced you to me as my daughter-in-law, I've loved you. Mm. I, I, I've taken you as part of my family. So, you know, I love you so much too, like Thank I love you. my daughter here. Yeah. I love you eh? so much. Eh? Uh, well, okay, well. let me take you to your room. Eh? <laughs> yes. Eh, I, I know, but if it's not uh, in Kosara's room, Biko, don't bother. Because eh? I want to stay in her room. I yeah. share the same bed with her as long as I'm going to stay in this house <laughs> till I go back to the village. Mama. You know, you know, <laughs> no problem. Me. Me. No. Nemo, mm -hmm. you're good, right? Eh? Yes, Mama. Mama, yeah. she's fine. She's, she's fine. Ah, she's this yeah. one. I trust you. You this have one. a good heart. I've been pampering know. this girl. Eh? <laughs> I'm now asking myself when I have my own. Ah, yeah. They'll just be spoiled potatoes. I know. <laughs> Come, okay. What about your sister? That one too is nice. Mm. She's very nice. <laughs> this one, they are I, five I, and six. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you are taking good care of her. I know that. Yes, Mama. Yeah. Okay. Come to her room. Eh? Uh, to her room. Yes, Mama. Okay. Let me help you. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, mm -hmm. hold me, hold me. Oh, let me. Mama, she knows how to work. No, on don't her. worry. I will. She has mastered I will even carry her. In fact, let me carry her. <laughs> how? How did you get in here? The wind blows where it wants to blow and when it wants to blow. No one can stop it. I am the wind of the realm of the living and the spirits. Why are you worried about her coming? I... I... I have a feeling that my mother-in-law and her children are hiding something from me. There is no such thing. Ojonku is the one that manipulated her to this house. The reason we become known to you tonight. However, you must do whatever you can to ensure that Dubem leaves for Australia on the schedule date. Failure to do so. You, Antonia, will face the consequences. Consequences? I said, why, please, what consequences are you talking about? What consequences is she talking about? Mama. With the gun she put into the whole situation. Gone. I wasn't able to resist anymore. Mama, I've never been this afraid in my life. Why? I've been hearing about the devil and its wickedness. But I never knew the devil was indeed in a human form. Till I arrived at this house and met the real Auntie Cheesy. See, Mama, you need to do something hey. to save me, but I had to be more and yourself. You need to go and stop her, Mama. You need to stop her. How dare you, Cheesy? How dare you? Mama, Mama, Come back first. I should come back. Mama, you can't just go and confront an armed devil like Auntie Cheesy. You need to come up with a plan for safety for all of us. How do you mean? I thought you said she didn't know why she did what she did. Eh? How can we tell what she's doing to the baby in that room if I, if, I, if I don't go there? Mama, I'm not sure. But something tells me that I'm her real target. 
I know you and brother do him. So I suggest you come up with a cover up story to leave the house and bring the police into the situation before you go and start confronting her. Police. You're right. You're right, my child. Eh? Only God knows what the kind of trauma they've made you go through in this house. Eh? You see, Cheesy? Cheesy! Cheesy! God will punish you. God will punish you and your cohorts. Amen. All of you that are involved in making this girl go through emotional torture. God will punish you. You will suffer. She will suffer. She will suffer. Eh? Yeah, come, come, my baby, come. Hey, I didn't know, I didn't know this is what you've been going through. Kosarachi, daughter of destiny, daughter of grace, daughter of miracles and deliverance. Wake up and use your voice to calm down the hosts of heaven. Use the voice that was given to you for miracles and wonders and sing. Sing your prayers. Sing for powers. Sing for miracles. Sing for deliverance. Oh, daughter of the Most High. The time is near and the enemy is desperate. Get up. Get up. Get up and sing. What is this? This is the third time this same voice is waking me up this night. How can I sing this late into the night with Mama sleeping in the same room with me? Um, whoever you are, please let me be. I can't sing by now. When day breaks, I will sing non-stop throughout the day if you want me to. Please, I can't sing. Please. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I'm going back to sleep. You see, she's a fighter. She's a strong fighter, remember? Honey, it seems you don't understand. The kind of stroke that Mama is suffering from is the type that only top medical care can, 
give her the hope of living a normal life again. And such top medical care is almost non in existence in this country. Babe, is this not a blessing in disguise? That this happened on the eve of your traveling to Australia? There's no travel for me again. Yes, because I can't leave my mother fighting for her life in intensive care and travel to anywhere. Not even for heaven's ticket. I can't. Babe. Look, my mother needs me now more than ever. She needs you by her side in good health and a boosting career. And not by her side with a bad health and maybe you even get to lose her without any great career by your side. Think about it. Babe, I know how you feel. And I even feel worse. Please, but if you ask me, I will tell you that you should travel. Yes. Then we can process Mama's visa to join you over. While we're processing Mama's visa, your colleagues at the teaching hospital will ensure that Mama gets the best medical care available. Okay? And if you feel that you need to talk to her, you can reach her anytime over the phone. Listen, if Mama were here to listen to all this you're saying, She'll want you to go. She'll never ever want you to stay back. She'll want your boosting career. Think about it. What about Kosarachi? Who will handle the emotions of a devastated girl? Despite everything that we did, she refused coming home with us. She's been crying. Crying and blaming herself. Babe, Kosarachi is only trying to grapple with the shock of what happened. And that's what any girl of her age would do. Okay? And as for the sound, the voices she said she was hearing last night, they are just mere hallucinations. Oh no, babe, they are not. I know hallucination when I hear one. She wasn't hallucinating. But mistaking her mere dreams to something more than a dream is more like it. Listen to me. Please, I beg you, travel. You need this for your career. Babe, I beg you, I beg you in the name of our love we share, I beg you to please travel, okay? I'm so sorry about your mother and I promise you, I promise you that I'm going to take care of Mama, I'm going to take care of Kosarachi just the same way you would do it if you were around. I promise you this. Are you serious? Please, yes. Tell me that you will travel. Please tell me. I beg you, please tell me you will travel. Baby, let's go. <laughs> I'll be back. You, you're man in this house now. Huh? Make sure you take care of everywhere. I'll take care of everywhere. <laughs> when it's necessary, I'll be serious when it's necessary. Yes, sir. <laughs> Most importantly, they're catching. <laughs> Open the gates. Be serious when you shoot. Okay? Yes, sir. Cosa, take care. All right. Okay. <laughs> Sis, mm. here the coffee you asked for. Okay, mm -hmm. I hope it's hot enough. Mm -hmm. 
boiling point hot. Um, I'm off to campus. I have 8 o'clock lecture. All right. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Thank you. Don't miss me too much. You look good, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> Hello, babe. Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Okay. And has the air ambulance gotten to Sydney? Oh, good. Good. Um, how was her condition when she got to Australia? Oh, okay. Don't worry. No, no, you don't have to be worried. Mama will be okay. She will be fine. She's a fighter, you know. All right, Aline. Yes. Um. Uh, I'll let me call you back, okay? All right, babe. All right. Um, Auntie, I I overheard you talking to Brother Debe. Yeah, yeah. Room. What are you doing here? I just wanted to know if Mama has, if, if Mama is, is all right. Is is is, is what? what you, you, want, you wanted to say what? Know, what about what I told you to do? Eh? <laughs> what about what I told you to do? Eh? Stupid girl. Am I your mate? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I'm for a wiki do. Hey. Sorry, sorry, okay, calm down. Hmm? The engine warrior will calm it down, okay? Your skin will not peel off. Hmm? It's painful. Eh? <sighs> what did I do to her? Who was my offense to her? What did I do to my own brother's wife that she poured hot water on me? What? She knows I'm blind. She knows I cannot see. So at least touch the water or cover my face. I was just only acting for my mother. I wanted to talk to my brother. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, come on, come on. Don't cry. If you cry, I'll cry. Don't cry. Eh? Madam is very wicked, though. Eh? I will fast. The Lord will shift her, her, her leg butt. God will punish that woman. God will, pu God will punish your entire generation. Eh, ma? God will punish your entire generation. Who is wicked? Ma, ma, ma. Eh? Hmm? Why are you calling weekend? No, no, no. What were you saying? Uh, we were discussing about uh, lectures. Let, let me tell you, James, ma. you know that in the absence of my husband, ma. I am your overall boss. I know, ma. You know that, right? I know, and I can sack you at any time. Yes, ma. I, Do you know that? I know, ma. You must lose your job. Never in my life. Do you? God forbid. No, get out. Thank you, ma. Get out of here! Idiots. Go ahead, go ahead. Find yourself. Madam, <laughs> what are you doing here? Hmm? I left some chores for you and they're still undone. Why? Auntie, please, my body is burning up. I... Your, your, your body is burning up. Yeah, what? You've not started burning. You've not started feeling pain yet. Let me tell you, in the kitchen, when you go there, you will see, of course, you don't know how to see, you will feel a very big pot of water on the gas stove. I am boiling that water for you so that when I come out and you are still here and you've not done the chores, I will suck your head to your toe inside there. Have I made myself clear? Hmm? Now get up. Get up! Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Daughter of grace, daughter of miracles and deliverance, wake up, wake up, and use your voice to calm down the hosts of heaven. 
Use the voice that was given to you for miracles and wonders and sing. Sing your prayers. Sing for powers. Sing for miracles. Sing for deliverance. Oh, daughter of the Most High, the time is near and the enemy is desperate. Get up. Get up. Get up and sing. The voice. The same demand again. The last time I failed to obey, Mama had stroke, right in this room. God forbid, I will not disobey this time. And if singing is my weapon of defense and warfare, I take it up tonight. <sighs> Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You're a miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle walking God. Your name is Yahweh. Covenant keeping God. You are a covenant keeping God. What you say you will do, that is what you will do. come down here for another coming round. Now listen to me. If you do not sleep, if you continue singing, I'll be forced to use a cup of paper in your private parts. Stupid girl. Fool. What did I do wrong? I was, I was just singing. Did she even hear my voice? How far from my room? Oh, is she not a Christian? God. God, please save me from this woman. Okay, it's stop. not okay. How can it be okay when I have been asked to leave the campus? To a psychiatrist examines me and finds me medically healthy enough to coexist with other students and continue my academic program. How? Please. Do you even know the implication of that? Everyone thinks I'm mad. Me too, they are mad. How? Please just 
pull yourself together and explain exactly what happened. Okay? I, 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 I don't know. It was around um, 1 a.m. in the morning. I woke up to an unseen Christian orchestra. A voice ordered me to go to the school courtyard and conduct a choir. I refused. Then, two, two, two hefty men, they ordered me to do their bidding. And my roommates, they were not even helping matters. They said they did not hear a sound nor saw anyone. And I went, I went to, to, to the courtyard. Guess who I saw? I saw Kosaraji. Yes, she, she was, she was leading the choir. They were all dressed in white in their numbers. They were plenty singing the same song, singing the same song. Kosaraji. Yes, yes. You know, um, when all my pleas fell on deaf ears, I, I, I went to the courtyard to conduct, to conduct the, 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 the choir and. Before I knew it, the, the, the school security, they, they grabbed me. They grabbed me and the, 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 the two, two hefty men and the choir, they disappeared. They disappeared. Then they all agreed, the security men, they all agreed that I am mentally ill. I should go home till, I, till when I'm fit to come back to school. My roommates were not helping matters. They were laughing at me. Stop. They think I'm mad. Stop. Please stop, Tonya. Stop. Wait. You don't believe me, right? You, you, you think I'm lying? You think so? A similar thing happened to me last night. You're joking, right? I'm not. Yours, you saw the choir. But mine, I did not see any choir. But I heard them in this room. <laughs> then, then, a mysterious force harassed me out of this room. And then, when I went out, suddenly, the choir stopped. And do you know the voice I heard? I heard only Kosarachi's voice singing. I thought my mind was playing games with me. So I had to go to her room. And who did I see there? I saw Kosarachi immersed in herself singing. At, at, at the same time? At the same time. Though I had to stop her and I threatened her. Threatening her is not the word to shoot me. How did you get in? I am the wind. We've done our bit by removing the obstacle that you complained about. Jesse, it's more than two weeks now and you're yet to make any progress. SNY, I am trying my best. Your yes. best? You're wasting the time that you do not have. I don't get it. I am not here to make any explanation, but to want the two of you. Tonya, if you ever go back to the hostel again, without successfully carrying out the assignment given to you, what happened last night? will repeat itself again. But this time, in a more dreadful manner. And when it happens, you will run mad for it. I reject I it! Reject it first by doing exactly what you are asked to do. Frustrate Kosarachi into committing suicide. Or find a way to make her lose her virginity before her 15th birthday. You have less than six months to get that done. The more you delay, the stronger they get. What, what, what does she mean by that last line? What does she mean by that? I don't know. Don't know. Don't, don't, don't worry. Calm down. I will sing For the fall of the Lord has now become my strength He is my peace and I am satisfied 
He has taken the sorrow with him, though it's not so sane. Forever I will sing, or I will sing. Hey! Hey, we! Oh! Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Poor child! Very beautiful girl. This girl is so young. Look at how Madame is treating this girl. Eh? Eh? Look at how you are treating this girl. You brought this plenty clothes for this girl to wash. Eh? The way you are treating this girl is no good. You know that this girl is a blind girl. This girl is John Cena. She cannot see. But you brought this plenty clothes for her to wash whilst there is washing machine. You want this girl to wash the clothes with her bare hands? Eh? Is that how to treat uh, someone's child? Eh? I see this woman, eh? See, madam, eh? I leave her to God. I leave her to God. Only God would judge this woman. God would judge this wicked woman. No, we don't do things like that. Don't treat someone's daughter like that. And that Tonya girl. That Tonya girl. Only God can judge that girl too. Blind girl. She cannot see. You you, you bring all your clothes. Eh? All your panties. Venom panties. Eh, eh, standing fan panties. All these panties. Kosarachi! Ma? What are you still doing here? Hmm? Ma, is there something You're you still to... stuck here washing and left my kitchen untidy. Why? Auntie Tonya said that she, I should pour out after Auntie Tonya said, said what? Auntie like, Tonya said what? How dare you interrupt me? I'm sorry, but I, you said I made you stupid. You're talking and you're interrupting me. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you stupid? Foolish girl. Fool! I'm talking and you're talking. Fool! Do you want to die in my hands? Eh? You know how lively you are. I've died several times. You had to do me at night. What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Eh? What did you say? Kosarachi, I am going out now. And I've given Tonya instructions. She's having a siesta, yes. But she knows what to do. When you're done with this, go to my kitchen and tidy up. Have I made myself clear? Have I? Stupid girl, I'm talking and I'm, 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 I'm talking and you're talking. James, yeah, come back. Uh, hello. What are you doing here? Uh, ma, uh, what are you doing here? What is it? Ma, no, eh? eh? Ma, what is it? Ma, ma, nothing, nothing, ma. Ma, nothing. Open the gates. Okay, ma. Open the gates! Okay, ma. Okay. Huh? Huh? It's, it's me. It's me. Are you, are you okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Huh? It's okay. I, I, I'll help you. Okay? Huh? Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I don't mind.
I'm sorry. I didn't know when I slept off. Uh, uh, it was it was hunger. I will let that hunger kill you if I go out and come back and see me in this kitchen like this. If you don't finish all the shots in this kitchen, I will deal with you. And you will not see it. I will, I will clean it. Better. Better for you. Better for you. You do not lie, you do not feel What is hard for you to do It doesn't exist, do It can never, never exist, do You do not lie, you do not feel What is hard for you to do It doesn't exist, do It can never, never exist, do Oh, oh wow, 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 wow Cause that you can sing, huh? you, you are gifted God has blessed you with a talent. You. Oh, you sing just like uh, this girl, Ebony. Ebony in Ghana. The girl is dead now. Oh, wow. You are wonderful. You are, but you know I can also sing too. Really? Okay, you have not heard me sing before. <laughs> listen, listen to me. You don't need a other party. Wow, wow, wow. You don't need the other body. Oh, tell me what you want to want me. Tell me something you want to me. I just want to let it down with me. See me coming in and want me. I just want everything to happy. You don't need the other body. Hey. Wow, wow, wow. It's like that, I'm telling you. <laughs> I wanted to ask you something. How do you do all these things? How do you, you know, uh, walk about, you know how to do house chores and all that. Sometimes I, I wonder, how do you do it? You see, when one of the sense organs are damaged, mm -hmm. the other sensory organs become very active. And as I grow up, my instincts and organs become really sharper. And I get to feel things from far. So when I get used to an environment, I don't actually need help doing anything because uh -huh. I understand the environment. It's just life. It's okay. natural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now I understand now. What the bombshell? Okay, it's like you now you have you have sensor. You naturally have sensor now. Something like that. Uh -huh. So sometimes I want. Hey! She broke my plate! Hey! I'm sorry. 
You yeah. broke five plates. Yes, I'm sorry. Hey, it's a deep. Eh? I didn't know this thing just fell. It just fell. Cut what? Cut what? <laughs> this tiny thing, just this small cut. And you reacted, he got by, it was a mistake. But you deliberately cut my heart. Yes, that is what we call an eye for an eye. You mistakenly broke her plate, and she mistakenly gave you this cut. Since yours is a mistake, hers is also a mistake. Mm -hmm. This tiny small cut, you know? Small thing, this guy can pretend. This small cut this now. This is not even penny. And it was a mistake, oh. Uh -uh. Excuse me. Please, oh, let me tell you, pack everything. I don't want to see that your nasty blood anywhere in this kitchen. Have I made myself clear? Pack this place before you put your infected blood on in my kitchen. questions. Have you finished cleaning the kitchen? Have you? Clearly, you and your sister have placed the kitchen above my life. Whether I bled to death by the deliberate injury she gave to me or not, it doesn't matter to you. Because actually you said that I said I want to ask both of you two questions. Question one. What have I done to offend both of you that attracts such level of wickedness? No answer. Mm -hmm. Question two. 
What can I do to make both of you forgive me? Die. You heard her. Die! Kill yourself! Idiot! God forbid. I'm a child of God. The last thing I will think about is to commit suicide. If you and Auntie Cheesy are doing this because you hate me or you want me to die, no problem. You both will have to kill me or wait for God to kill me at his appointed time. What did you say? What did you... Come here! Move! Get out of here! Get out! Because I gave you your... Use the voice that was given to you for miracles and wonders and sing. Sing your prayers. Sing for powers. Sing for miracles. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. I never see anyone like you. God, I never see anyone like you. 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 Possibility possible, made impossibility. Jehovah Jireh, you made impossibility possible. You made impossibility. You. Jesus. What? You, you were caught too. And, and you were also caught. And uh, the, the, the choir. Did, did you also hear that? Yes, I did. I um, did. But now it's just Kosarachi that is singing alone. That girl, that girl is a witch. Let's, let's go out and do what? You can see that an unknown hand gave us a knife cut at the exact spot I caught Kosarachi with the broken plate. And now you want to go and confront her and escalate the war? Eh? Did you say war? <laughs> war with who? No, I don't know with whoever or whatever that is behind her. But SNY has refused to even tell us. Eh? We don't know who this person or what this person is. We don't know. Yeah. So please, we, we just have to go back, okay? And, and, and strategize on a new plan. Oh, but there's nothing, there's no but. Please stop talking. Let's go and treat our womb, okay? 
Oh, oh. Come, 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 come. We can use the family first aid kit. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Oh, I warned you not to harm her yourself. Frustrate her into committing suicide. Or find a way to make her lose her virginity. Those were your instructions. As a way, there's nothing we've not done to frustrate her this past few weeks. Yes, it's a way. Instead of getting frustrated, she smiles and sings like she's being pampered. I don't get it. Just yesterday. She told us to our faces that there's nothing we'll ever do to her for her to commit suicide because it's against her Christian faith. I heard her say that. <laughs> Confessing a faith is the easy part. Living true to it. When living becomes a real nightmare to the confessor, is another thing altogether. Every human has his or her break point. Drive her to hers and do it quickly. Is why are you trying to say that we are permitted to use the stunt that will make her lose her virginity and being raped? Whatever your plan is to achieve it, it must happen in this house. If not, the consequences will consume you in particular. I repeat, it must happen in this house. Sis, you didn't ask her how we are supposed to handle James. This fool has become a god wrenching irritant these days. As he said, he was she he now only talks to us anywhere in front of her. I don't know why you're finding it difficult to sack him. Sack this guy now. What is going on? He said, Why has instructed me not to sack James or allow Kosarachi to leave this house for any reason? Because if that happens, Mama will be healed. And then if she gets healed, she'll come back immediately and I'll be sent out of this house in disgrace. We are stuck with that lousy James. We cannot sack him. And we can't even allow Kosarachi to leave this house for any reason. All the threats I've been giving James are all empty threats. That means from all indications, he's aware or he's suspecting us. Can't we kill James too? Let's kill him. I oppose those who oppose her. For as long as you continue in your wickedness against her, I am your nemesis. Who are you? Who are you? I am Kosarachi's destiny soldier. I protect her and those who love and help her. Oh! <laughs> 
and do not blink. Do not blink. Do not blink! Hey, hey, hey. Oh! 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 Next time you try to insult my sister and I, I will put an acid in your face. You have an acid bath! Oh! 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 Try and help her again. Oh! 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 Try and help her again, animal. Oh! 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 Because that you know I'm coming. Let me save myself first. Let me, let me save myself. I do. I did to do so much this morning. Wait. Yeah. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Just collect, collect. Find yourself. Find it, find it. Uh -huh. Be find it. Yeah, find it. Why? What did I do to that? 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 I just did it for me, <laughs> oh, I know now you're Jerusalem now. Over there, spot. Over there, look like a soup now. Eh? Just be funny. Stop that. Just stop those jokes, please. Stop those jokes. No, just, just be funny. Eh? What will you get in this world? Look at this small object. You have used you have used pepper to destroy her Jerusalem now. Now her Jerusalem look like pepper soup. What will you get? What will you get? Wait. I do to them. What did I do to them? I did do them. I didn't do. It's just, it's such bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Eh? It's too good. Eh? Don't worry. Eh? Sorry. Oh, oh, you do want to take your bath? If you take your bath, if you use uh, uh, sponge, it should be worse. It should be worse. What is going on here? Eh? Auntie, no, 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 Auntie. What are you doing here? Auntie, you have not done any morning chores, and you are here lazing about. Auntie, please, Auntie, please, Auntie, please, my private part is boarded like an orphan. Auntie, please. Did I ask you anything? Auntie, please, stand up from that place. I can't stand up. 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 Stand up.
Auntie Cheesy, Auntie Tonia, you both have been standing there for over three minutes now. Is there anything you want me to help you with? she know we have been watching her? It's either that girl has been pretending to be blind or she's a witch. Pretending to be blind? No. Being a witch, I think more than that. How do you mean? I had my doubts. When the voice threatened us on account of James and Kosarachi. So to clear this doubt, I had to come up with the Pepe option. And for them to still be okay two days after that option, <laughs> it shows that we're not just working with a blind witch, but somebody who has the capacity to manipulate us with other people's voices. agree less but that particular incident must have sent a direct message to them that we can never be intimidated we can't yes it has but passing a message is not just what we need to succeed in this assignment you know that of course yes the pointing gun at james and kosarachi during our calls with the babe has been helping lately but tell me, what guarantee do we have that when this punishment escalate, they won't take the bull by the horn to expose us during our calls? No guarantee. No guarantee at all. Despite the Pepe incidents and all the traumatizing things we've been doing to her in the last three days, it doesn't even look like she's near suicide or even thinking about it. Did you see how happy she looks, dusting the living room? She has been working on an empty stomach since morning and despite that she's happy, she's even singing. Okay, what about James? James has disobeyed all the threats you gave to him. That guy has lost all manner of respect and fear he has for us. He has lost them. I'm happy you've seen it for yourself. That's why I had to take you there to observe Kosarachi. And now we have to use our head and know that it is time to make do with the second option immediately. You mean the virginity side? Yes. I, 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 I totally agree with you. Do you have a plan? That's the plan. And I want it executed not later than three days. Can you handle it? My boys can easily handle it. Your boys? No, I want you to do it. I don't do such menial jobs anymore. Don't worry. My boys are as professional as I am. And they know that any failure of any kind comes with a heavy consequences from me. So don't worry. It will be carried out strictly as you want it. I just transferred your fee hmm. to your account. But the money you paid for the aborted job is still with me. Pending job, not aborted. Your husband and his mother are out of the country. Or am I flying to Australia to complete the task? You're not flying to Australia. Let's just leave the job at pending and focus on the new plan. Okay. 
I guess I should be on my way to a planning meeting with my boys over the new job. Sure. All right. Take care. You're welcome. Let's her now, hmm? They will say that Tonya is not a good girl. I'm now giving you food. I Me, mean, I know I'm nice. I know I'm nice. See, plenty of food I'm giving you. Mm. Let me give you some. Take. Eat. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And where are you going to? Um, I want to go and eat at the dining table. You want to go to the dining table and eat? Yes. If you much. take one more step there, you will live here with your head wide open. But are you stupid? Auntie, that is where they go to eat food. Are you mad? Are you mad? Come and sit down and eat your food. Oh. Sit on the floor. And what's happening here? Uh, Sis, can you imagine? Auntie, I want Come to... Come on, shut up and greet me first. <laughs> Blind bats. Auntie, good evening. Batimius. Um, Baby says, please, what happened? Hey, can you imagine this idiot? Look at me. I'm a very nice person. Mm -hmm. I gave this girl plenty food to eat. Mm -hmm. And she has the boss to tell me she wants to go to the dining. I want dining to eat her food. And you stopped her. I right? stopped her. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. What? So what is it? She wants sit to... Sit on the floor and eat. Sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. Idiot. I'll push you down. No. I, I, I'll push sit you down. Sit on the floor. Okay, I'm sitting down. Better for you. Animal. Goats. Bats. Bats! Bats! Sis, leave this idiot. If she doesn't want to eat, we can pour the you food away. Eat it. Throw it away! Plenty food that I gave you with my innocent mind. Idiot. Since you think raping a small girl like this is fun, you two have a taste of it. What? She? What? She? No, no, no. You both have taste of 
This! No, 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 Hey, Kosachi, stop crying. Don't pity for them. Don't pity. Oh, see, it's God that has punished them. It's God that has answered your prayer for you. Because both of them now, you see the way they've cleaved their gardens and burned their bushes. It's a rape. So don't be crying. Don't be crying. God has answered your prayer. They are here more treating you. Treating you anyhow, they'll be pitying you. It's God. Uncle oh, James, please stop it. Stop oh. it. It's not God. God cannot plan something that evil for someone. It's not God. No. Do you know how many times I've been fasting? Who is that? It seems like they are coming. It's going to be thunder over the I'm coming! It's a rain! Is a rape. They are walking like this. <laughs> Please stop it. This is not a joking matter. Oh. It's very serious. And the Lord has answered your prayer. Do you know what they went through last oh. night? Yo, he's hitting them. He's taking his face. Sometimes he's hitting them. Oh. It's a rape. Yeah, they, they walk like this. <laughs> James, it's okay. Next time, I will open the gate for, for, for more and Robert to come. <laughs> Don't come in. <laughs> come and do it and go. It's a rape. <laughs> come and sit down. Come and sit down. What, what a bombshell. Next time you are treating someone's daughter, they will rape you everywhere. They will kill you. Just be quiet before you come out. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. You feel my heart. With so much peace and love You're amazing You made my life feel brand new You're amazing you made my life feel brand new. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh. Too much, oh. Excess love, oh. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh. Too much oh, excess love. Oh. You're amazing. You made my life feel brand new. Wow. 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 What a bombshell. Your love is fine. 
<laughs> Your love is painful. Oh, wow. Your voice is so nice. Ah, Thank I was sitting you. there, I heard you singing. I was like, ah, God has blessed you with a wonderful voice. Thank you so much. Ah. Well, music is like a food for the soul. Oh. So the soul is nourished and strengthened. So is the body. Hey, music is like a food to the soul. Yes. Uh -huh. So which means automatically, music is like a restaurant to the body. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> You're quite the character, James. Oh, wow. I mean, it's talking about food and restaurants. Have you eaten? Have you, have you, have you eaten something? No. You have this this morning? What a bombshell. You have this this morning? Oh! Oh! I don't have money on me. I would have gone out to buy you food. No, 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 don't worry. But thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Don't worry, God will bless you for me. Thank, thank you. you so much. What's that then? Kitten, kitten, small, small, catch you, your stomach, you will get us if you don't eat. See, I'm with you 24 7, no? No, Bagawaya. I'm with you 24 7, I'm telling you. No problem. Eh? Sometimes if I look at you when you sing like this, I wish I had money. I would have taken you to Project Fame. Oh, you mean Talented Kiss? It's okay, don't ah, worry. You sing nicely, you sing just like Patapa. Do you know Patapa? No. Terry, you told me that those guys were professionals. You told me you briefed them properly. They are co-professionals. I did brief them very well. Professionals, you say? Professionals who left the girl they were supposed to rape and this virgin and moved over to those who contracted them. These idiots used me and my sister for close to three hours. Can you imagine? And you call them professionals? My sister and I, for the past three days, have been under serious pain and trauma. And you have the guts to look me in the eye and tell me that those fools are professionals. How dare you? How dare you tell me lies? I'm not telling lies. That's the truth. You are telling me lies, Terry. I'm telling the truth. You're still saying it. How dare you insult me? You messed with the job and you, you, you have the guts to still lie to me. It's you who messed my guys up by not telling me that the girl you paid us to rape has some spiritual powers. What exactly are you talking about? My guys told me that when they were about to rape her, all of a sudden she started singing. They totally lost control of themselves. They never even realized what happened in that compound that night. So they left that compound. It's the truth. That girl has some spiritual powers. Be careful with her. Let me be! Let me be! You and Mama have dragged me into this mess. And you did it without giving me the slightest hint about it. I am the one who was forced to be wicked to an innocent blind girl who has done nothing but love us ever since she came in contact with us. I am the one who has a messy spectacle on campus and I'm being asked to go for psychiatric evaluation before I am being allowed back on campus. I am the one who was raped repeatedly by armed men without protection. Please do me calm down. Lower your voice, reduce it. Let the world hear it. Let Costara hear it. Let the world hear it. I don't care. Please calm down. I know you are angry. But all hope is not lost. We can still proceed to the next plan. You know, Terry. Don't to touch me. How dare you touch me? I don't want to see your face. I don't want to hear your voice. Stay away from me. Tonya, please. Stay away from me. Are you mad? Try me next time. You carried me when some carried your God. You feed me low when some feed your God. You fight for me when some fight for your God. Oh, oh, Jesus. He know they use me. Kosarachi. Kosarachi. Mm. 
Good morning, ma. Ah, hold it. Have you seen Tonya? No. Uh, did you check in her room? Did you check in her room? I am not a busy-bodied witch like you. Come on, get back to work. James. James. Where is Tonya? So, so I come here. Where is Tonya? Oh, Tonya. Oh, okay, Tonya. Ma Tonya told me she's going out to school. She's going for lectures. Mama, I know very well that Tonya is not going to school. She's going out to plan another method on how to plan to 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 to, to more treat someone. Shut up your mouth. Keep talking this nonsense until I remember your name and rat poison together. Big fool, idiot. No, I mean a bit God will what bless What did you say? Oh, ma, I said God will bless you. Eh? Bless you in your entire family. You are blessed. Fool. Your death is near. Mark my words. Mark my words! I suckle myself with the blood of Jesus. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I cover my nash with the blood of Jesus. What a bomb say. You, you poison me. What is wrong with Tonya? This is the fourth day she's not talking to me in this house. This is the third time too that she's leaving this house without even telling me. How can she be antagonizing me at the same time we should be planning and executing plots that will get us closer and closer to success in our assignment? Did... What did Terry say? That she and I were not suspecting already before. It was two of us that were raped for God's sake. And about the deal our mother entered into with Ojungu that got her into this web of inconveniences. For how long will I keep apologizing to her about it? Wait a minute. Could it be that witch? Kosarachi? Oh my god. Is she the one spiritually manipulating and turning her against me so that she... How dare you, Kosarachi? How dare you? No. It is time to do something drastic before things get out of hand. Sorry, Hizawai. I don't care about your conflicting do's and don'ts anymore. I'm doing it my own way now. I'm taking the end justifies the means approach from now on. Yes, let the end justify the means. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Stop with your dreadful voice. I'm tired. Wait, I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. Every time you be disturbing somebody with your dreadful voice. Sorry, ma. I just dished your food, so you can come and eat now. Um, Auntie, 
I'm not yet done. Yes, with I you. know you are not yet done with your chores, but today I'm changing the routine. So your breakfast, lunch, and dinner will be taken at the exact time. All right? And afterwards, you can continue with your chores. So eat now and take up with your chores. Okay, ma. Thank you so much. Mm. God bless you. Bless you too. Shop with my chores first. I, I can eat it later. Uh, who is there? Come on, open this gate. James! Hey, hey, hey! James, I have warned you countless times to stop keeping me waiting. Are you stupid? Idiot. Try it next time. Don't okay. you? Look at, look, at, look at how she's walking. Holding a fowl, dressed so beautifully. You would think she, 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 she's a good girl, but very, very wicked woman. Very, very wicked woman. Very, very wicked. See, you are praying. One day you will just be going, and Roberts will just stop you like this. Bam, will just cave your gardens and burn your bushes. What a bombshell. You will be there, you'll be treating someone's daughter badly. Very, very badly. You'll be going, you, you look so beautiful. Someone will stand afar. So the person will think, oh, ah, she look beautiful. But very, very beautiful, very, very, very wicked girl. But why is it with Fufunu? No? I just pray to God that God will open that girl's eyes so that you guys will not treat that girl bad. But I leave it to God. I just leave it to God. She said what? You unfortunate vulture. Have you finished all your chores in this house? No, but I... I don't care what she told you. As you can see, I am coming back from school and I am famished. I need this food more than you. But, but there's still food in the pot. Huh? And how did you know that? Have you started stealing with just your bad eyes? But, uh, have you started stealing, stealing food from the pot? Which of them? I, I, I was here. Then shut up! Get out of the fight. Break, break your hair with this, with this plate. Get out! Idiot. Let that not touch me. Hey, hey. Whoa! Idiot. You, you want to eat? And make sure you don't touch this food, though. Make sure you don't touch the one remaining in the pot. If you try it, I will kill you. You want to eat? Come and eat. 
I'll make sure I finish this food and finish the one in the pot. Come and eat. No, no. But the truth of the whole matter is that she's stable now. Okay? She's stable. An anti-poison has been injected into her intravenously. And that will get her out of the mood sooner than later. In fact, you people brought her right on time. That made the difference. Doctor, are you sure? I can't lie to you, madam. You are my colleague's wife. Let me ask you, how did you know it was poison she took? And the type it was? Um, doctor, you're asking me all these questions because I told you what exactly happened. The time it happened and the substance she took. I just told you that I, I, I saw her with the bottle, that's it. A suicide case? Why, why would Tony want to do that? I don't know. Doctor, please, don't let my husband know about this until I put a firm handle to this whole mess, please. I'll let him know when um, the, the, the time is right. Please, I beg you. Mess? But I thought you said you don't know anything about it. Yeah. Doctor Jeff, please. My mind is hazy right now. I'm not even ready or, or, or fit for any straight discussion. Please, I beg you. Can I see my sister now? No. Not now. She's still in the ICU. Please, just wait for me at the reception. Okay. I will keep you updated. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh. Doctor, right. please. No, 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 no. Don't no let worry. my husband know about this. I beg you. I've heard you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the test result confirmed it was poison. Hmm? I am suspecting something fishy. Don't worry. <clears throat> she will regain consciousness within 30 to 45 minutes. A rare drug? Oh, 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 oh. I understand. Don't worry. I will send her out. Okay. Bye bye. It 
is all this? What is actually going on? The doctor has told me to get a rare drug for Tonya. I've gotten it now and everyone is claiming that they don't know when she regained her consciousness. No one is even trying to tell me where she went, so I can't find her. How possible is this? Oh my God, what's wrong with all my plans? Why is everything just crashing? Wait, 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 excuse me. You said Tonya came here. I saw my make an insult them in what I'm saying. Water is not inside my mouth. I'm saying Tonya used your gun to threaten me on this compound. She locked me here and she has kidnapped Kosarachi. She kidnapped Kosarachi. Why is she taking her to? She kidnapped what? what a bombshell. Kosarachi! 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 Wait, 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 where is it taking Kosa the girl to? Where is he taking the girl to? Ma'am, I'm, I'm waiting for you here. This guy, eh? This guy, this guy. Hey, Tonya, Tonya. Now you have kidnapped this girl. Where are you taking this girl to? This girl cannot see. You have kidnapped the girl. Where are you taking the girl to? Is it not wickedness? No, is it not wickedness? What is happening to me? What is happening to me? Excuse me, Terem. Listen, wait. Tonya has totally turned against us. What? What are you talking about? I don't understand. Take a look at this. The test results showed you were poisoned. Oh my god. It must have been from the food I ate. It was meant for Kosarachi. Yes. Kosarachi? Yes. Who is Kosarachi? Eh? I said, who is Kosarachi? Okay, um, I, I want to start. Tonya, who is Kosarachi? Kosarachi is, is Duben's sister. Duben's sister? Y yes. Who, who wants to kill Duben's sister? Sir, please, can I go? I, I, I want Tonya, to... start talking. Sir, please. You better start talking. Do you want me to involve the police? No, 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 no. This is an attempted murder. Really? Do you want me to call the baby? No, 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 no. Then I'll, start talking. I will talk. Um, it's... Like I told you, your mother-in-law instantly got healed the moment Kosarachi left the compound today. She's making plans to leave the country soon. And they have already called the police to get you arrested. What? Me? Yes. You have to leave this house immediately. Where, where, where do I even go to? Is it, where, where do I go to? Now listen. Beg your friend Terry. 
to accommodate you for a few days. As soon as you settle down, plan with him to kidnap your mother-in-law as soon as she enters the country. Then bring her to the COVID in Egedege and do Junko we end it all. Even Tonya and Kasara Chizango? Yes. Ujunko will put a permanent closure to everything. And there will be no more threat to your sanity. You will become totally free. Get her to the Coven alive. Get her to the Coven alive. Get her to the Coven alive. Like I told you in our last counseling session, this holy ritual is very important. Yes, Father. She has to be empowered through this session of prayer so that she can confront the powers of darkness. Yes, Father. Daughter of grace, light and destiny. Like I told you, this session of prayer is very important. Okay, Father. This is a holy ritual that is supposed to empower her to confront the powers of darkness. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, Father. Let us go into this holy ritual now. Okay. Daughter of destiny, light and glory, like I told you, you were born and sent forth by the Almighty God yes, sir. to uproot, destroy, conquer and prevail against the powers of darkness. Amen. But the sons of perdition, knowing the high calling upon your life, rose up to destroy you. Like the Bible says in Psalm 2 verse 1, how does the hidden rage and imagine eventing against the Lord and his anointed? They conspire, gather against him to destroy the Lord's anointed. But the Lord will love them to derision. Amen. Daughter of grace, yes, our God never sleeps nor slumber. He that watcheth Israel never sleeps nor slumber. Yes, sir. Our God never abandons his human project halfway. I have done my part. It is now left for you to do your part. Daughter of destiny, Sir. I want you to keep your gaze on the cross. Do not take your gaze away from the man of Calvary. For the salvation cometh from him. Okay, sir. Remember, make your faith strong because without faith it is impossible for us to please God. Be strong in your faith and be determined in your heart to fulfill the purpose and the mission you, before you. And do not forget the son of perdition. The powers of darkness gathered against you will destroy you the very minute you falter in the very purpose of your calling. You, now, it is time for the anointing. I will anoint you now. Okay, Father. I anoint you in the name of the Father, the Amen. Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Tonya, let us go. Uh, Father. Yes. We can't leave her. I mean, someone needs to watch her. Let me stay and watch her, please. Oh, no. Do not worry yourself. For he that keepeth Israel never sleeps nor slumber. Our God watches and encamps around those that love him. Do not worry. 
in the circle of fire. She's more protected than any American president. Do you understand? Um, um, but father, yes. what if they can't do bones out? What if she needs something? What if she needs our help? Let me just stay here. I, I don't mind. I can stay and help her. Please, father, let me stay here, please. You worry too much. The Almighty God will provide all her needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. In this circle of fire, she will not hunger or thirsty. She will not face any pressure. Her eyes will not know sleep. She's safe in the hands of God. The Lord will keep her. Do you understand me? Okay, Father. We need to go right now. Okay. We're already a distraction to the Holy Ghost okay, and his work. Father. Quickly, let's go. Come, come. Refusing to loosen your grip. Keep refusing to turn your gaze away from our mortal enemy. Despite all we've done to distract you. Your due and all that are with you is close. Unamaroka is a I, I don't want to serve her. I, I want to serve God. I want to follow Jesus. Please, I, I need your help. Please. Okay, no problem. You, you won't serve the priestess, okay? Really? Okay, just kneel down, kneel down. Let me pray for you. Okay. Kneel down. Okay. Cargo is here. Good job. <gasps> Jesus! Jesus! So you're the one behind all of this. I mean, who really are you? Silly question. Silly question? Jesus, what are you up to? You are lucky you did not come back with your son. Oh, 
You people plan to put me in jail? Really? Oh, you will never have that opportunity because I am never going down. Me, please, please let me go. Please, be go. Please, 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 let me go. Before I kill you, I will tell you something you never knew. Ebere, because Sarachi is your niece. Ubike's daughter. What? Yes. Your mother. Ubike and you. We're the only survivors from the thunder blast Ojonku struck your Christian group with 46 years ago. Ojonku! And the masters of the realm did everything possible to stop her birth. But our mortal enemy was on her side. So I killed her parents and made her blind at birth. <sighs> you! You! <laughs> Ojonku took away from me. That same God has delivered Antitonia. So she will not be the priestess of the devil. She said, Amen. As a way, she can now see. This idiot can now see. is your power and your weapons and the so-called mighty Ojungu that you can't even kill this little brat. How dare you? How dare you utter such nonsense? I beg you, please. Please let us go. Don't hurt us, please. 
Mama, Auntie Tonya, do not fear. Her end is now here. Amen. Mama, I will set you free. Oh. Oh, you little brat. Do you realize that you're in the shrine of John? The great grandmaster of the realm? No matter who I am, wherever I am, I have faith in God. He is with me anywhere <sighs> I go because the earth is of the Lord and the fullness there. Shut up! Don't mention that name here. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am back in my house. My mission. I can't go without accomplishing my mission. <sighs> How dare you? How dare you step your feet into the sacred shrine of Ojunko? You daughter of darkness, your end is here now. The Bible says darkness and light have no affinity. You are darkness, I am light. And when the light of God appears, darkness disappears. <laughs> A child that says his mother will not sleep. That same child will know no sleep. Now live before you face the wrath of the almighty Ojunku. Cause so that here, 
It's mine. You lie. Kosala, she belongs to the Lord God Almighty. She is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Daughter of darkness. Your end is here. For the Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence. And only the violence take it by force. I have come to establish the rule of the kingdom on this material earth. How dare you? How dare you? Because Sarachi is mine. Now, leave at once. Agent of darkness, foul spirit from the pits of hell, demons and minions of hell, a genius. <laughs> 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 How dare you exercise your powers in the sacred shrine of Ujungu? How dare you? Almighty Ujungu! Okay, more. Okay, more. Jungle! <laughs> Bring down your power, we pray to your Lord. Bring down your power, we pray your men. Bring down your power, we pray to your Lord. Bring down. Shut up! The oracle says in Psalm 149, Let the high praise of God be in the mouth of the children of God. And let the double edged sword be in their hand in the name of Jesus. This is the judgment written against all the powers of darkness. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Are you right? Oh, praise be God. Come, come, come. Our God is victorious, always victorious. He never fails in battle. Come, daughter of Zion.
It's all about choice, yo. Power, power, we pass the power. So tell me who be your father? When you want test my power, power from my own father. Power, we pass the power. So tell me who be your father? When you want test my power, power from my own father. I be my papa begin. Me a hot like the sun. I'm a look young, sixteen. My neighbor me came mad enough. I'm a good friend to me, Joe. Oh, but I want to my my. I'm a good friend to me, Joe. The power of the Almighty. Chine do more. I go to go. I go to go, go, go. I go to go. Chine do more. I go to go. I go to go, go, go. I go to go. Chine do more. Nothing go fear me, me. I go just to go. Chine do more. I get something way strong, but power, power will pass the power.